You're not cold? <laughs> Hello, backgammon fans. Bill Riles, Tyra Mendocino, Ace Point Backgammon. We're streaming today from the Atlanta Spring Classic. The main events, ABT events, are beginning momentarily. The uh, Jeff Proctor is making some announcements at the moment. Then uh, everyone will start playing. Who'd you draw, Ray? Have you seen it yet? Nope, I haven't looked. Well, we have two. But they're gonna have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> we have two streamed matches on stream one. We have Victor Askenazi and Stacy Turner, and that'll be the commentated match here on stream one. On stream two, another great first round pairing. Petko Kostadinov against Roberto Litzenberger. So, uh, you know, it's a strong field, but still yet it's kind of interesting to get some of the, you know, you always get some great pairings, uh, you know, in the, in the first, uh, in the first round. So there are, as I recall, there are 40 people in the championship uh, division. There are 32 people in the intermediate division. Uh, play for ideally for the uh, championship is beginning at 11 and in really 11 15 looks like we're going to run about 15 minutes too late but uh you know this, this stream one match will be uh an excellent match victor askenazi is uh, one of the very best players in the world uh stacy maybe not as well known outside of the states but certainly well known in the states has uh, has has won and cashed a number of times uh he's from uh, the tampa greater tampa area uh very strong uh experienced player uh he'll have his work cut out for him against victor but it'll be a competitive game, uh, match on uh, stream two petco again as victor perhaps petco's probably one of the top 10 players in the world he's been in the last eight or ten years he's been in the world championship final twice um he beat somebody really good last night yeah and he he, he knocked off this guy on my right here <laughs> rafe overland in the uh was it second or third round second, second round, round of the masters last night uh, at dmp they got ray led 12 8 and uh, and Couldn't then, get across the finish line at 13. <laughs> and decided to stop at 12. <laughs> so, uh, two great matches early on. Um, Bill will be uh, commentating straight through for the first couple of few rounds here because uh, no side events going on because everyone is playing. And uh, so, so this is going to be exciting. I, I noticed uh, in there, I think uh, they, the the brackets are up on online. They're they're printing them out now, but some people have looked and actually a few matches have started. Last, uh, you know, in 2019 was the last year there was a live tournament here, oh, and okay. Joe Feldman played Carol in the final. Yeah, Feldman won. Yeah. Well, they're playing each other in the first round today, <laughs> so oh, they there won't be a repeat. Then, they're both but... from Michigan, and they've. Uh, 
come across the country to play, and they draw each other. Well, that stream match between uh, Stacy and Victor, there won't be any uh, moss growing on the cube in that <laughs> one. Uh, I know Stacy. He, you know, he gets an advantage and he sends it. And uh, Victor's not shy. You know, he's not one of these guys that's gonna take or pass based on you know because he's better than everybody. You know, he that would give him an excuse to sort of. Uh, let one go once in a while, but he doesn't. He fights for all the points. So. Yeah. And uh, so you may well see some four or even eight cubes. So uh, someone will probably come up and tell me I got to play with him here in a minute, but thought I'd stop. Well, do you by. have the brackets up there? Oh, okay. I was. I was just wondering if they were on that iPad. Who's who's Ray playing? What do we have here? Okay, we got. I'm just going to read down through the brackets a little bit. We got DD playing Dan Minardi. Yeah, that's. There's 40 people, so there's some anti buys. So in the anti buy column, round of 64, DD and Dan Minardi. Give me some good news and uh, tell me I'm not in that Feldman column. and Carol Cole, Grant Snyder. No, Jeb Horton, Ray Fogerland in the antibi column. Oh, Jesus Christ. I never <laughs> beat Jeb, neither. <laughs> yeah, in the other room. Let's go. <laughs> so about time I found it here, Jeb come looking for Ray. So good match, guys. Yeah, great. We've got a great start. We've got an antibi and we got play. Okay, and we got couple other good matches here in the round of 32. Roberto and Petco, of course, going to be streamed on stream two. Dennis uh, Culpepper and Sean Garber. Victor Askenazi and Stacy Turner. That's the stream one match. Um, what else we got? Boy, there's some really strong pairings. Uh, Philippe Salnab from Miami's playing Ed O'Loughlin. Joe Urso playing Bill Lonergan. Um... So as, as it typically goes, you know, it's a 40 player field, a fairly strong field. And we've got uh, three or four really strong pairings among the, among the favorites. So, uh, this will be interesting. I think Victor is, uh, they're trying to finish up a doubles match that Victor's involved in. So it was, uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to finish that or if it's going to be suspended, but, uh, Stacy's wandering around here. He's he's sitting right in there playing doubles. Jeff will probably suspend that if they don't finish on this game. Um, right here, and you're playing Roberto. So, uh, again, it's going to be a fun day. A good field. I know uh, three years ago, which was the last live Atlanta Spring Classic event, there were 32 in the uh, in the championship division. This year they have 40. Uh, and conversely, I think in uh, 2019 they had 48 or something like that in the intermediate, and this year it's 32. So it's kind of flipped somewhat but uh, with fields of 40 and 32 that's 72 and just expecting something in the 10 or 12 range for novices so they're going to be 80 to 85 total players which is a which is a nice turnout so uh there's a uh, roberto and uh, petco standing around out here heading into the arena pretty quickly on uh, so that'll be on stream two uh, and YouTube forward slash AP live stream to Petko Kostadinov and Roberto Lichtenberger. Be a nice, good, strong match. And uh, stream one, Victor and Stacy. Victor won two matches last night in the Masters. Um, well, he lost his first round match, rebought, and then won two. Two. He lost to DD in the first round, rebought, and he beat Sean Garber and then uh, Ed O'Loughlin late last night. So, uh, 
Victor's playing as Victor plays. Now this uh, tournament, Jeff Proctor, who's the organizer, director, what have you, is the uh, U.S. rep for Gaminer Boards, and uh, you'll see we're going to be playing on uh, on Gaminer Boards here uh, oh. during the tournament. Yeah. So there are uh, Gaminer that we uh, Ace Points streaming everything. These are USB Jeff ABT sanctioned events. Now, just as we're filling a little time waiting for, for Victor to either finish or suspend his doubles match, uh, they, uh, tournament's coming up in two weeks. It's going to be the Chicago Open, Rory's Pass Cards Tournament in Chicago. Tar and I will be doing the streaming there as well. I think uh, I haven't spoken to Rory about the exact specific numbers, but I know they're having a BMAB event on uh, Wednesday and Thursday up there. And according to Dimitri last night, they had 21 players in the uh, already signed up for the BMAB event. So that's a, uh, it's a really nice field there. So uh, Rory runs a, a nice tournament. So I think he's going to have a, uh, you know, some pretty nice fields up there on the holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend. And then, let's see, I think two weeks after that's the uh, LA Open. What's that? That's first part of June. Then you get to uh, Michigan, uh, 4th of July weekend. Then we're going to Monte Carlo. We're going to be streaming the uh, World Championship for Monte Carlo uh, at the end of July. So a lot of backgammon coming up. We're uh, excited to be parts of these tournaments and uh, hope you enjoy the, the streaming. Again, I think Petco just went in the room. Roberto was already in there. So on stream two, Petco and uh, Roberto should be playing at any moment. Begin playing at any moment. Now this is a... There's 40 players in the main, so what they got a, 16 people got antibodies in effect, so 16 people are playing in the round of 64. The remainder are playing in the round of 32. So this match that Victor and uh, Stacy are playing is in the round of 32, and also the match that uh, Roberto and Pecco are playing is in the round of 32 as well. So they all got uh, effectively buys. Yes, not effectively. They all got buys. So. Now, we'll be commentating throughout this. I'll be monitoring our, our chat lines, chat uh, log. So anyone who has comments, questions, input, suggestions, or whatever, feel free to... Uh, So let us know, share it with all of us. I'll uh, try to answer questions, uh, rec recognize uh, participants, and uh, we try to do a real interactive uh, type stream. So, uh, so this should be fun. He's finishing a doubles match, and I, and I don't know if Jeff is uh, aware of that to... Uh, potentially suspended or not. You might ask him. Okay. Or see where they stand. Okay, over on stream two, I'm just glancing over there real quick. Petco and uh, Roberto have begun. So uh, that'll be good. And then... Uh, Tara went in to check on the status of that Victor. Uh, okay, there. 
their DMP. Okay, so we're delayed a few minutes here as Victor, who's playing doubles with uh, Rick Silberman, I believe. They were finishing up a doubles match. It's, I understand now, DMP, the last game. And then uh, Stacy and Victor will begin this, this match. Yeah, I've uh, I've been notifying them that uh, stream two is has begun with the Petco uh, start enough Roberto Litzenberger match, and here shortly we'll be uh, beginning the Victor Askenazi Stacy Turner match. As uh, as I said, Victor and uh, Rick Silverman are finishing a doubles match. It's at DMP, so then. Uh, They'll be moving over to the private streaming room. Stacy is uh, watching the conclusion of the doubles match, I guess. So uh, we'll be getting going soon. Now, if I go back and look, let's let me look at the uh, at the bracket here. What do we got? Potential second round matches that may interest us here. Winner of uh, Roberto and Petco will, uh, they're on the cusp or it goes from the anti-buy to the buy side. So Roberto Petco winner will play the winner that comes out of a anti-buy quadrant that includes uh, Jeb Horton, Ray Fogerland, Jeff Spencer, and Julius High. So, uh, Okay, pardon me a moment, folks, while I set this clock. Oh, I got it messed up here. Yeah, gotta get back over here. Well, you eat the crap. You're my other half. You're my nemesis. This is one of the, the new leap clocks, and they have ever so slightly changed the. Uh, here, now, is that correct? 22, 12, 12. Okay. Thank you, sir. No problem. Full service operation here. Help where we can. Setting clocks, helping, helping with side events, helping with the draw. Streaming, commentating. Now, where were we? So out of the quadrant from the antibody round, Jeb Horton, Ray Fogerland, Jeff Spencer, Julius Sy, the winner of that will play the winner of Roberto and Petco. And then uh, the winner of Dennis Culpepper, Sean Garber, which is a very good pairing, will play the winner of Victor Askenazi, Stacy Turner. So that's uh, that'll be a nice second round match. What else do we have here? Well, the others are, are scattered somewhat, so it's not as obvious. But the one. The couple that really stand out as a potential uh, great second round matches is this Culpepper Garber winner versus Oskanazi Turner winner. And uh, then the winner of Roberto Petco will, could be playing Ray or Jeb Horton or Julius High. So that'll be a, a nice match. So uh, 
Yeah, if you have something. Thank you. So these things, uh, seems like when we're uh, we're rushing, these uh, DMP games tend to last forever. And of course, it's a double a doubles match, so uh, each side is consulting on the DMP uh, DMP game. So uh, hopefully, that will conclude very soon. Okay, glancing, glancing over here, Petco and uh, Roberto are involved in a pretty uh, lengthy first game. So just uh, clear, so he's at a wee bit of a, or had a wee bit of a racing advantage until Roberto just rolled a 6-5. So it's going to be pretty close. Uh, Petco's all in, and but Roberto has better uh, distribution. So, uh, and we're playing a two cube. So let's see, uh, see what happens here. Yeah. Now it's funny. I'm out here in the foyer and looking at this iPad for the chat list. There's double fives, which is going to pretty much seal this game for Petco. But uh, I'm dealing with a little bit of a player from the overhead lights. Okay, there's. <laughs> so there's uh, Victor is. Uh, is finished, so he's heading to the room. So, uh, anyway, where was, oh, I'm dealing with some glare out here in the foyer, looking at the iPad, looking at the monitor. But uh, one thing that we've, uh, yeah, I was watching him a great improvement that we have we've been working on that you should each try to perhaps observe in the uh, watching the streaming today. There will be no glare on the dice. We have uh, cured that forever problem that uh, everyone who has ever streamed or recorded their own matches has always had is uh, the occasional, sometimes more often than occasional, uh, sometimes it's frequent, glare on a dice, which makes it hard to read for viewers, which makes it hard to transcribe for transcribers. We have solved that problem, and uh, today, uh, clear picture and no glare on dice. So uh, we are off and running. Stacy is playing the red checkers, the bottom of the board. He's on the left of the player cam. Victor on the right of the player cam at the top playing white. So 11-point match. Round to 32. Now this is a uh, three flat bracket. There's a main bracket, a consolation bracket, and a last chance bracket. So uh, the winner of the championship has to go undefeated uh, throughout the bracket to to win. So once you lose, you drop into the consolation, and uh, the best you can do after that is win the consolation. So. Stacy's gotten a little bit of a hitting exchange advantage. Has four victory checkers back, but four uh, Victor has three of them anchored on the four, so probably in for a relatively lengthy game here, I suspect. Neither has a substantial early advantage. Six, five. Now we are playing legal moves, and we're playing, as you notice here, dial and checker is legal. So that's why the 6-2 six, two, uh, six, two works. Where's Ian? So... Where are we? I'm sorry, 
still a distraction or two around here, but I'm getting settled in. Victor has to get something going, so he hits with a 6-2. Stacy rolls a 5, so now does the, he sends yet another checker back. Plays uh, has a 3 to play. He could, he could hit yet another and chooses to do so. So now Victor has uh, five, five back, two of them in the air. Six five a dance. Whoa, that's this could uh, this could get brutal. But uh, Stacy just gonna cash it and uh, take the early one zero lead. I like that. Reese Mack says those dice and Tara just sit down next to me, so I'll be chatting with her occasionally. He says those dice are as clear as if the Hubble help Hubble telescope is pointed at them. <laughs> So we're we're glad that uh, everything is working well today, and uh, hope all of y'all enjoy and appreciate the stream. Okay, double threes, uh, like four two double three. That's a a nice start. Victor had a six five in between to to run a checker, but uh, Stacy again has gotten an early advantage in a game. Uh, Tara, find Ian's number and call him. Um, she'll call him. Uh, look at look at Ian, Terry. They got a phone number. Hit it. It's a full service commentary here with the track players too. Ian, where you at? Play has started. Talk to you in a bit. Bye-bye. So, uh, Ian has not appeared. Perhaps he's sleeping in <laughs> inadvertently. Hey, Tar. Go in there and have, have Ed Corey call his room. There's a room called right next to him. Yeah. He's rooming with Ian. Have him call that room and see if Ian Okay. So I'm sorry, still, still some uh, distractions trying to get everything lined up and going here this morning. Did you find him? Or did, well, call, okay, is he calling or? Or you could call on the house phone and ask for Ed Corey's room. Okay, I'm sorry. So anyway, let's see. Victor's got a fairly strong formation, beginning with a lot of ammo over there. But uh, so it's but Stacy's uh, maybe has a little stronger position. Gets both of them in. Six four from Victor. Now he can make the two point, which is what he opts to do. Uh, 
Okay, so three, two. Stacy's gonna make the anchor. So now he's the, got a fairly commanding, perhaps position and uh, racing lead. Victor steps up into it. So now we're gonna see uh, Stacy probably attack. He may give. Uh, let Victor pay to see the next roll. So this is a, an interesting early match uh, cube decision here. Stacy has what? Eight, nine, uh, 13 in the zone. Uh, Victor does have the ace point game, so he's got a lot of play. But he's, uh, particularly if that checker on the five gets pointed on her, um, Victor doesn't have much timing on his side of the board to sustain. So he lets this one go as well. So he's he's had to drop two two cubes from Stacy. It's 2-0 Stacy. Okay. Both have had a couple of nice rolls to initiate this game. Stacy has the advanced anchor. Victor can run. So now Stacy's going to try to uh, contain that last checker so he's going to make the nine go six four so uh, victor needs some uh needs some magic there's the bar point double threes makes the he could make the bar or he he could make the three and five points, which is what he's going to do. That gives him retain some outfield control and, and some uh, doesn't let Victor play completely freely off of the midpoint. Now the double five moves a lot of freight, but, uh, you know, Victor still got the problem of uh, the old 15th checker back here in Stacy's home board. Okay, there's the, so now, if Victor uh, doesn't do something good, and at a minimum, that's probably an ace to step up the two point, I think he's going to be looking at another cube. There it comes. Now this is his start of a match like this, and it, it gets, as we all know, it gets old turning down cube after cube after cube, but you have to exercise the discipline to, to be able to do so if, if the, and Victor's excellent at that. So, uh, three, zero early on to Stacy and then, you know, Victor hasn't had much to work with and, uh, has had to drop three cubes. Okay. Alternating five ones. Okay. Five three is going to make the three point. Five two, not quite as uh, attractive for Stacy. He's going to step up. I thought he might step out, but uh, 
he doesn't, he stacks on the eight. So he's got stacks of five on the six and the eight. So he needs a double ace or a double three or something. Uh, now Victor can uh, anchor up on the four point or he can hit two checkers. He's got a two point board to the one point board. So he opts for, or at least initially opts for hitting two checkers and he stays with the play. Dance. That's a brutal. Two in the air and you dance on a two point board. But Victor only has nine in the zone. He's got a you know, a checker on the ace point, so at best he ends up with a one three six board. So uh, he is down three zero. He's had to drop three cubes. Does he get a little aggressive early in this game? He does. Probably gonna be a oh Stacy lets that one go. I'm a little surprised. Now call it call Ed's room on the house phone out there. They're right around the corner there's a house phone. Ask for Corey's Ed Corey's room. Um four three. Again, maybe it was uh just me. I was I was a little surprised at the uh the pass by Stacy, but uh you know, he, he got an early 3-0 lead. Maybe he didn't want a chance uh, giving up a crooked number to Victor. So he let it go and uh, try another game. Four one that makes the bar or makes the anchor on the 20. So let's see how... Uh, now Stacy chooses to play this. All right, yet, yet, yet another option is to hit two. So uh, a lot of a lot of options on that play. Now Victor uh, gets them both in, but he doesn't hit. So Stacy's still got to. Uh, go away now. You can pick up a, yet another checker. So maybe he hits and goes on to the mid. Could hit, could hit and make the 11. Okay, so Victor can anchor, and now he has to find a two. He's going to either play 6-4 or 13-11. He goes 6-4, unstacks the six. 2-1 for Stacy. And send yet another one back. One four, so Victor's going to, I presume, hit that checker. Maybe hits the second checker. Hopes uh, he doesn't get hit, and he can kind of shift the momentum in his direction. He does. Only one comes in. So now Victor's got a little, little breath here for a moment. Doesn't have too many checkers to work with, though, with five back. But he can cover and hit another. So the tide is uh, slowly shifting here. He gets brings in yet one more. But again, Victor's got five back in Stacy's home board, so he doesn't have as many checkers to work with as he would like. Three two, he can make the make the eight. And maybe step up to the twenty. He'd come to the 11 and get another builder, but I, I don't think he wants to strip the mid just yet um, with all these checkers back. So I suspect I would go to the 20. But let's, uh, we'll see. Victor's uh, light years better than I am. He does strip the mid, takes the, the extra builder.
Okay, so this is kind of a involved game. Stacy with three back, Victor with five back. Stacy does have the his own two point, so it's kind of two checkers more or less out of play. So they both uh, are lacking ammunition to make much immediate advancement. Anchor by Stacy. Now there's there's some improvement. Double sixes. So now it's uh, certainly shifted to uh, to Victor's direction here. Took a peek over on the uh, Roberto, still up 4-0 on, uh, on Petco. 6-3, Stacy can run. So they both have forward anchors now. Victor's got a little bit better st structure, but that uh, translates to Stacy. He probably has a little bit better timing. So 6-1, it's probably going to the set to the six. Oh, I'm sorry. I read that as uh, I was thinking Stacy's role, Victor's role. So that's the perhaps the obvious play. Although he has to leave the shot on his 15 to do so, but probably not much. Any better options? Sixty-two. So that's uh, kind of not his best role. By far, so he's going to play two down, I'm sure. Five, two, so he can make the point and hit the hit the blot. So with that checker. Now back and that checker back in the air. And okay, Victor's probably gonna I would he's gonna go send the cube on this one, I suspect. Stacy's Stacy's got a little game, a little play, but uh I don't I, I suspect he's going to drop this. He dropped that earlier one. I, I suspect he's going to drop this one. Just doesn't have much uh, going for himself yet. Yeah, we've got uh, Kate El Kate Elmore here in uh, Atlanta as a dog breeder and so forth, and sitting right over here to my right in a in a cage crate. is crate whatever is Zeba is that her name Zeba one of her Rottweilers Zeba is a bit of a celebrity. She won the uh, Best in Show. At the Westminster Dog Show, two years in a row. So quite the uh, canine celebrity, and she's a very well-behaved girl sitting over there in her crate. Kate's playing in the tournament. 
Oh, yeah, it's big dog. Okay, so uh, Lawrence says he would have taken that cube as well. Stacy took it, had, has the forward anchor, so he had some play. And Victor's got a little bit of difficulty clearing this uh, two checkers back here on the 15. And, and Stacy, well, problem solved. So uh, now Stacy's just going to have to try to make sure not to get G'd on this. Yeah, he had made some improvement to his home board, having made the five point after taking the cube, but uh, the double six from Victor has uh, changed the complexion of the game, and uh, Stacy is uh, in danger of having that checker pointed on on the ace point, and then he, he could have problems. There it is, depending on uh, how long it takes him to get him back in. Five one, so he's in. So probably uh, not a tremendous amount of gammon potential here now, but uh, not a tremendous amount of win potential either. Double threes, so Victor will two in, three in, and then six three. Okay, so this is. Stacy will hope to get lucky, maybe get a shot, but he's uh, he's really just happy to be able to save the G here. The so last roll probably could cause Victor a problem. Threes again, so. No downside to go ahead and just taking two off. Casey burned a lot of pips inside, but some pretty rare gammon chances hanging around. But but he did uh, burn what nine or ten pips on that last roll. Four ones, and now he's going to burn a couple more. So does Victor accommodate him with a 6-5? No, it's a 5-3. So now Stacy will be running with one of them here. Victor nothing doesn't want a 5-1 or a 6-1. Two one is acceptable. Now he has to avoid the five one or six one again. Six two, just enough. So Stacy will probably run on home, runs on home quite rapidly, and. Uh, so we're looking at a two-point game. We're looking at 3-3. Three, three. So uh, we got an eight-point match left ahead of us. Oh, well, what happened to Ian? He was here. Yeah, he'll with be here in 10 minutes. Oh, he must have. Yeah, I'm going to still play. We're going to still play. Okay, well, that's great. I came here to play. I didn't come here. To... Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Apparently, uh, Ian Terry must have overslept or something. They finally managed to raise him. Who knows? Well, it's Saturday, though. But um, anyway, he drew. He's supposed to play Don Merrick. Don was just walking by and said he came here to play. He doesn't want to take off forfeit or penalty points or something so Ian's going to be down in 10 minutes and uh, and they're going to play so it was very sporting of, of Don I know uh, Ian's a very close friend of mine and I know uh, 
how badly he feels for whatever the delay was. So, uh, okay, nice roll by Stacy. Uh, Explorer gets hit, so now Stacy's got a a nice game going, but Victor's got uh, three back. Pretty much has to do that can can hit a block, which buys him a little time. Now he's going to get hit again. And if he uh, stands or doesn't hit at any point here, he's going to get a cube going back at him. Nope, he does perform he's going to hit twice so a real uh, real hitting exchange going on here and uh, you know, Victor has managed to uh, claim the well he had the one in the five point but now he, he comes off the, the 24. Stacy rolls another set of fours. Okay. Wasn't as uh, constructive as double fours often would be in that sort of position but now Victor can make the bar I've won by Victor so Victor's uh, struggling with the rolls here he would have liked to have made a second anchor or stepped up with one of those back checkers, but uh, has to give up the eight point. Six three for Stacy, nothing to write home about. Uh, can't really leave the anchor because he doesn't have a three to play, so he's just going to play to the six. So Victor's still having trouble. He can step up with that checker. Three to play. Okay, double threes. Not his most attractive role by far. Can't play the back checkers. He can't uh, can't play off the eight. Jeez. Do which? You can play those two to the eight, but then he's got two. I guess maybe you, geez, what do you do? You shift off the six? He's going to go all the way to the ace. That's fair enough. Six, five, so he...
Okay. Victor decides to to make the five. Five points uh, always valuable. Now he's got uh, both fives, but he's got these uh, six checkers back here on three stripped points. So uh, not much else to be done. Now this is a key role for Stacy. He's got considerable potential. Okay, the four two. Guess he goes on to the four. I wouldn't want to give the outside direct shot to the victor if he wants to hit me loose inside. Uh, go for it. He plays a five three, so he goes to the thirteen five. I guess he doesn't want. They have equivalent uh, four point boards. Hey, Stacy still needs uh, something to escape uh, Junior back there. Victor can make the 11 points, so now he's got ones, twos, and sixes blocked. Wake, uh, good morning. It's the magic rule. Too blue. Ian has, uh, has arrived. Time is it? Twelve oh five. Not, not too bad. Okay, nickels. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Only I knew. This game is going to be over. He'll play and there's no downside for a few rolls. There's almost zero percent gammons, but you can roll it out, see if you get lucky. Well, if he were to get odd on the six point, it probably wouldn't cash, but like next roll. But uh, prior to that. Oh, nice double five. So now he's just going to cash. There's zero chance of gammoning. So four three, uh, Stacy. I don't know, Reese. He, he's not really a drinker, and he he was here commentating with us. He didn't leave until twelve thirty or one o'clock, I think. Looks like these guys are going to take a little break. Thirty-five or forty minutes. Glance over here to see what uh, Petco and uh, Roberto are up to. Five one uh, Petco. Ah, so Reese says he was speaking for himself. <laughs> I 
Mr. Askenazi. I'm sorry? Yeah, I mean, we, we tried to get a good pairing, but, you know. Petco and Roberto, yeah. 5-1, I think. Petco. So that's a good match. It's interesting, you know, and that's the way it typically goes. you got a decent 40-player field, and some of the top players get paired with each other in the first round. We need seeding. Not just this year. But seeding you're talking about of some sort? Yeah. And there's, uh, you could perhaps overhear that. I was, uh, Victor stepped over here during the break. And, uh, you know, we were commiserating a little bit that 40-player uh, field, good, uh, a good contingent of strong players. And, uh, of course, probably half the field are less experienced or less skilled uh, open level players and as luck has it i mean we've got two or three uh, pairings in the first round of uh, very strong players and victor of course has a different perspective than perhaps most of us he says well, we really need to think about seating in uh, in backgammon tournaments he said it'd be like you know better and nadal drawing each other in the first round of a tennis tournament and there's some validity to that, but you know, one of the uh, beauties of backgammon tournaments and backgammon is the, you know, that there is that uh, luck possibility, not only in the draw, but in the game itself with the dice that um, You know there 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 are the upsets. There's the easier path at times, and there, are, you know, there are the occasions that the, uh, you know, the unexpected happens, and the, uh, and uh, Victor and Ed and Petco and everyone loses, and uh, you know Sam Jones from Omaha, Nebraska wins the championship, but uh, it's unlikely, but it happens, but it keeps, uh, you know. Gives everybody hope, keeps people coming back, you know, and, and it happens in other sports. I mean, uh, 80 to one shot won the Kentucky Derby last week. So, uh, it happens. Okay. You can see Victor behind me filling up his, his glass. There he is. Okay, I'm going to step away for a few minutes and let y'all watch this. Uh, Got to do a little directorial assistance. So um, I'll be back shortly.
that's why I don't do that. Make a little of that too. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Full, full service, uh, full service activities from your commentators and streamers here. But uh, anyway, we got that going. We uh, Was uh, reading a couple of notes. I had introduced the, or Victor actually had introduced the concept of seeding, and that's created a little bit of chat. Um, I don't see it happening. Uh, Bill, Rory, how's there's Rory? He's watching stream too. Roberto and Petco. Uh, Bill is doing uh, commentary on stream one. But right now it's five two. Uh, Pico on stream two, back here on stream one. We're going again. And where are we? Here we go. I so four three Stacy, four on the roof, four point board. Uh, this could get expensive. And, well, at least it, the cube's in the middle. So, uh, Stacy is likely to lose a, a natural G here, a center cube G. So, yeah, I mean, there's the, as Tara mentioned, there's the, the odd, the odd BG floating around with four back, but, uh, four closed out. So, uh, we shall see. Victor's trying to, to line them all up. Doesn't have to worry about the, well, he worries about the double four, but he doesn't get hit with a double four because all four has got to come in. Okay, now he's going to make a point, absent of a one, absent of one, he, he makes a point here. Uh, there's a six four. So what's he want? Probably take the four point. Um, either way, same. Three builders, three builders either way, for the for the void. It works works worse for the double four though. <laughs> now he just cashes. Unfortunate roll uh, from Victor's perspective, and it, it's interesting. I, again, I I would have made the four. There were three builders either way. For the for the open point. Granted, but granted, but still yet I'd have I'd have made the four. Well, he was watching uh, on stream two. I don't know. He may have stream one as well. But uh, hello, Rory. Rory's in the house. His tournament's up in two weeks in uh, Chicago. So uh, we'll be there. A lot of these players will be there. A lot of additional players will be there. So, uh, so it'll be fun. Yeah, we were. It was colder than Hades in uh, in December in Chicago. So it should be much. Uh, much nicer this turnaround, and I uh, we understand that all of the construction at uh, whatever that place is, what is it, a Sheraton, is uh, is completed. So, uh, in in every uh, regard, should be a uh, a very good tournament here in two weeks. 
Yeah, huge BMAB event. I know I was talking to uh, Dimitri last night. He was saying there were 21 registered at the moment. Uh, now, that may have changed today. So, uh, there's going to be a lot going on. Um, so, that will be exciting. So, here we are. Effectively, a seven-point match between uh, Victor Askenazi and Stacy Turner. Again, uh, as we said early on, I mean, Victor's uh, one of the best players in the world and certainly the favorite here, but Stacy is a very competent player in his own right. And uh, and this is backgammon, so uh, anything can happen. On both streams, Tara says be sure she, she's uh, channeling her inner Mark Olson. She wants you to smash that like button. So uh, perhaps we can do that. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> Hmm? So, uh, six three makes it a five point. So, uh, Victor has, uh, I don't know, they have equivalent structures. Perhaps Victor has three back, Stacy only has two back. But now, what Stacy do? He's got to play a five. He neither bury one behind him, which he chooses to do. He could have played to the eight, which would have given the double shot to Victor. So this is probably the prudent choice. Double fours. One, two. So he's going to make the nine. At the back, probably the back from the, uh, what is that, 21 and 13, make the 9. He could slot, hit, and slot on the 3, or make the 9. I think you make the 9, then... Uh, Stacy's getting in a bit of a bind here. I think uh, Victor may have grand designs of uh, sending a cube to Stacy from this position. Okay, he chooses not to send a cube, plays on. A little bit concerned with uh, timing and getting these back checkers out. 4-3, not a particularly attractive role for Stacy either. I think I just play to the six. I don't want to step out and, uh, again, I'm getting the rolls confused. Victor's 4-3. Now, Stacy needs to perform, or Victor may uh, not be as reticent to send that cube on the next roll. Every, uh, quoting Kit Woolsey, I believe, every, every turn is a doubling opportunity. So, as you can see, Victor's, uh, he contemplated it last roll. He contemplates it again this roll. Neither probably did anything constructive with the prior roll. Now, 6-2, what's he do? He could make the, make the bar, but he leaves two blots in doing so. But, uh, you know, if uh, Stacy doesn't roll a 6, advantage Victor.
What are his other options? He can do this. Putting two up. Kind of interesting. And you have to kind of look at all the options. Now, were Stacy to fan, then Victor probably plays on. 6-5, it was a fan. Now well, he, he decides to cash it. Stacy decides to drop it. 5 4 Victor. So that and the four point. Three one for Victor. Six three. So he's going to hit and continue on. choice which is stepping up or two going the other way nine point Oscar's counting this this is Victor always shaking 10 times or 22 times I I've never noticed a particular specific number of shakes, but I've not really uh, paid attention to that. I don't think so. I mean, as you could see that time, it was a uh, very limited number of shakes. It's kind of interesting. Uh, different people have different uh, peculiarities in that regard. Aces. You know, Steve Zacks uh, shakes forever, and he shakes up by his ear until he, I guess, he uh, thinks he uh, detects just the right sound that he, he wants. Frank Cohen from Philadelphia, he always shook, and I forget the number. It's like uh, 27 times or something. A huge Philadelphia Flyer hockey fan and whoever his favorite player of all time wore like 27 or something like that so he always shook exactly 27 times and he was always uh i played him one time and he got he got in time trouble and he was man but i'm not a slow player i said no you're not a slow player brent but you're a slow shaker you know you give up over a, a long match which is several hundred plays perhaps and you uh you know, even go, say, two seconds over your uh, buffer on each play. So maybe that's 400 seconds or something in a couple hundred move match. Um, you know, you're talking seven minutes right there. So. You know, that's that's another thing. It's kind of interesting. Uh, you know, Reese is talking about something he's noticed with Victor, and, and I'll see uh, different things. But the player cams really, uh, you know, it's interesting. I mean, I, I think they're great in that they, uh, you know, you get to see uh, put faces with names in some of these players, and you can see their mannerisms. You can see their uh, body language to a degree. And, uh, you know, also, uh, 
sometimes peculiarities as well. I've, I've not noticed it, but apparently Reese says uh, Victor always, you know, kind of itches his nose or something after he hits the clock. I, I don't know, but, uh, you know, it's kind of an interesting uh, deal there. Victor dances. He's going to likely drop this, I think, and uh, we move on. Dimitri, who's one of the foremost players in the States, thinks uh, Victor's going to take this, or that it is a take. Maybe not that Victor's going to take it, but he thinks it's a take. So uh, we shall see. Spending a lot of time. He's got the forward anchor. So he's uh, probably not in it. He lets it go. Um, I don't know. You know, it's interesting, and I don't think Vic Victor brings this into play too much, but, you know, the very strong player, such as Victor, and that's this is not to demean... Stacy in any way. Stacy's a great player in his own right, but the very strong player, I think, typically has the mindset that uh, you know, over the long haul, they're gonna outplay their opponent, and perhaps the uh, the longer a match goes, the the greater the chances that they're gonna win. They don't want to put uh, crooked numbers into play at times. Again, I don't think Victor. Uh, subscribes to that theory too much. I think Victor's focused on making the uh, probabilistically correct play on uh, on each move. But uh, those sorts of uh, considerations can enter into play. I'm sorry. Can you tell how many people are on the live stream? Pretty low right now. It's 24 on this one. It's a really strong match on the other one. It's running about the same two number. Of them going on? I'm sorry. Get two of them going on at once. Two live streams going on at once. Yeah. Okay, so uh, they got the score, obviously. Okay, so uh, two six. Yes, Oscar, there is another feed. Stream 2, also on uh, YouTube.com forward slash AP Live. Stream 2 right now has uh, Petco against Roberto. Great match. There's Rory over to, uh, over to Stream 1, giving us an update on the Petco uh, Roberto match. 9 2 Petco, apparently. And uh, hello to Rory. Two weeks from uh, the Chicago Open. And, uh, we'll be there. Many of these players will be there. 
uh, a great tournament. I know Dimitri said last night there were uh, 21 registered as of last night in the BMAB. So that'll be a nice event. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Maybe you just joined uh, stream uh, stream one, Rory. We were talking about uh, you know a good tournament. Apparently, the uh, construction at the hotel's finished, so that'll be uh, a plus. Tara was saying uh, she's looking forward to much nicer weather than we had in uh, December in Chicago. So, uh, all things looking up for for a great tournament. We appreciate all the work all of these various directors provide and uh, providing us great tournaments. Okay. Now you will notice Rory and, and perhaps you've noticed and I'll, I'll tease everyone again. Uh, if you watch the streams for a while, and we streamed eight hours or something yesterday, so uh, there hasn't been a roll yet with glare on a dice. So uh, Bill and Tara have solved the problem. The solution is with us. We had everyone, a uh, bunch of people yesterday on the stream were quizzing us as to what uh, what we've done, how we did it, how they can do it, and uh, we're considering it a trade secret at the moment. <laughs> Jeff Proctor uh, was suggesting we need to, to market glareless dice. So, uh, Anyway, we're we're ex really excited about this. This is our first test case uh, here in Atlanta, and, it, and it's worked well. And another advantage to that, or not an advantage to that, another thing we were testing, it's passed by Stacy. Another thing that we were testing was that uh, not a single player yesterday said anything about the dice. So, uh, Tara was a little concerned. What if somebody asked about the dice, you know, or this, that, and the other? I said, they're precision dice. Uh, there's nothing for them to ask or complain about. But uh, not a single player who, who were streamed um, noted anything different. Now, a lot of people viewing noticed uh, something different. No glare on a dice. <laughs> so, uh, So we will be bring the uh, the magic dice to uh, to Chicago for those streams. So there'll be uh, no glare for uh, for viewers, for transcribers, uh, for whatever. And, and of course, that'll be important down the road because all of those BMB matches, BMAB matches, well, they won't be all be using our dice. Maybe we can uh, manufacture some more, but. Uh, You know, it makes it much easier for transcription uh, not having glare on the dice, and particularly in some of these cases like uh, UBC matches and others where it's live transcription, um, it can really make it difficult at times. I don't even know what spray mount is, uh, Reese, but uh, anyway... We, we do have the uh, the magic glareless dice, which we think is a great improvement for the game. They will be uh, used by us henceforth for streaming. Six four, so. Uh, This one is that photo? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can I put it in? Okay. 
people are coming the other way. So Stacy's got a, uh, there's the cube. I was going to say he's got a fairly advantageous position. Uh, pretty good uh, racing lead, a lot of uh, structural potential. Victor thinks better of it and passes. Are you trying to pick up the other guys? Uh, Tar and I are directors. We've we've approved these. Uh, Jeff has inspected them and approved them, so uh, no further inspections required. You can just enjoy them, Roy. You know, it's it's interesting. I mean, again, as we said, for for viewers, for transcribers, certainly even for commentators, uh, it's a great improvement not to, you know, so often you couldn't read the dice because of the glare in certain positions on the board, and you know, depending on the lighting in the venue or the specific location of the lighting above the board and so forth. So, uh, not to have that problem. You know, again, as a commentator, it's great. As uh, viewers, transcribers, and others, it's great. And great double six by uh, Stacy. But you can see uh, we haven't uh, uh, we haven't addressed the glare on the checkers, which is normally not that big a deal anyway. But you can see those red checkers on the six point right now still have the glare, but the dice don't. It's magic. Tara says it's magic. <laughs> okay, Stacy cashes again with the, after a couple of good early rolls. Capital or uh, capped by the double six. Okay, so again, Stacy gets the the early advantageous rolls. Are you transcribing, Vic, uh, Dimitri, or is that a uh, just a, how should we say opinion based on watching the match? But uh, Stacy is a very good player. Victor's uh, had a tough, tough draw in the Masters uh, last night. He lost a DD in the first round and rebought, beat Sean and then Ed. So he's still alive in the Masters. And then here this uh, today in first round of the championship, he uh, he draws Stacy, who's giving him. Uh, Giving him all the match he wants. And Stacy has the forward anchor. Nice structure. Ten in the zone. Things are momentum's in his direction. He's gonna force the issue. Now look at there. That's one of the first times I think. I have ever seen Victor take a picture during a match, but he just photographed this position with his iPhone. Very rare for Victor, and particularly he knows it's a streamed match. But uh, so eight six Victor. Did he? Well, Oscar's noting that he'd done it a couple of times again, and this is the second time he's done it today. I must have uh, glanced away and or was reading y'all's uh, chat or whatever. I didn't notice it earlier, but it's, uh, you know, I've seen 
played Victor a number of times and streamed a number of his matches and watched him, and I, I don't really recall him uh, taking many pictures, so that one kind of surprised me. Conversely, uh, Steve Sachs never stops taking pictures. So it's, uh, you know, everyone has uh, has their own uh, techniques and procedures and things they like to do and what have you. So uh, here we are again, uh, six fives, going to maybe hit twice. Play to the eight, but uh, this time Stacy's got had his escape, got them both out, but he hasn't done anything else. So now he, he hits two with the six five. Victor uh, brings them both in, but misses the block. So now Stacy has a, a great opportunity to make the bar point. He does. Oh, he makes the five. Okay. Better. Definitely. I just had in my mind making the bar, hoping to make the bar, and he got the better roll, the 2 1. Okay, so Stacy, 6 2, has escaped his checkers. He doesn't want to offer Victor the opportunity to hit him and send one back. And with Victor's improving board, so now the only thing he can do, perhaps, uh, he can uh, pick and he can pass, make the ace point, not thing he wants to do. I think he would, he's taken the back checker. I would have took the front checker personally, but uh, there it is. Three, five by Victor. He's going to play to the eight, I presume. Stacy, uh, still just double threes will work. I'm not going to make the bar. I suspect, yes. So, uh, thinking about the 10 and the 5, but he makes the bar now. Unless Victor uh, does something very nice here, I suspect the, the cube's coming at him again. That may be nice enough. So, uh, Stacy's going to check the count. I haven't counted them, but just off the top of my head, I, I don't think he's quite there yet. He's got 66, 105, 107 white. Uh, didn't count it. Victor will. 36, 60, 69, 95, 127. So what did I say? 107, 127, something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's 20 pips, so it's pass. 107, 127. Are you transcribing, Dimitri? Just out of curiosity. I do take it. It's it's going to be a few, probably a few hours before everybody's freed up and we can play. Any okay, Rock. I'll look for you, man. Okay, great. Thank you, Dimitri. Share share a little knowledge and insight with us occasionally. Uh, we appreciate viewers uh, participating and contributing as they might. And anybody, I'm I'm monitoring the chat line, obviously. So if anybody's got uh, comments or questions or suggestions or what have you, feel free to present them to the chat line, and then we'll try to address them. Okay. So, uh, Victor demonstrating uh, some discipline. He's, he's 
turned down five in a row, and I know that's not pleasant, but uh, discipline is an important part of the game, and that's why, you know, the elite players are in part where they're at because they are disciplined and uh, they take as best they can the the emotion and uh, what have you out of it. So uh, kudos to, to Victor to uh, just uh, drop four in a row like he has. And and there, a couple of them have been, you know, obvious drops. A couple of them are perhaps a little bit more... Uh, Questionable, not saying they're not drops, but they're a lot closer. Okay, so uh, here we are. Same position all over again. Oh, nice, 4-2. So Victor can uh, have his choice of anchors. I I would think he'll take the forward. Yeah, and uh, so he's he's uh, put Stacy's cube back in his pocket for, for a bit. Now he's going to try to sucker him off that forward anchor. Throws a little bait out there in the water. Double deuce, so Victor will probably just make the five. Right now, Stacy will try to make one of these. Uh, who's behind me with the mask? <clears throat> Which side is that? That's uh, Philippe Solnev. And uh, right behind me is Sean Garber. Uh, between, between matches and uh, doing a little observation there. Thank you, Reese. I hadn't checked on the Stream 2 match in a while, but uh, Reese tells us Petco's up 10-2. to two. And again, did you, Sean, did you win or lose? I won. Yeah, okay. I, I, swear I, I had looked at the brackets earlier, and I, I knew that uh, the winner of – you played Dennis, didn't you? So. Yeah. So the winner of Dennis and Sean's match, which was Sean, plays the winner of this. So that'll be a really superb uh, second-round match and will probably uh, be one of our streamed matches. With this uh, this format, uh, you know, matches are beginning and ending continuously. So it's, it's kind of tricky at times to... Uh, you know, to, to have another match ready immediately to uh, go to one of the streaming tables when a match finishes. So I'm uh, confident the Sean and the winner of this match will be streamed, and then we're going to have to find another match for uh, probably stream two, perhaps, because I suspect uh, maybe Petco and uh, Roberto are going to finish before this if, uh, if Roberto... Uh, doesn't uh, rally. Okay, so again, here Victor has managed to. Uh, he got that anchor and uh, kind of staved off another cube. Of course, Stacy, and, and again, I get this, you know, various matches. We were playing 13s last night, and here we're playing 11s. So Stacy is two away. So he's. Uh, He's not going to have any inclination of uh, of cubing this at any point. Okay, so so Victor needs to uh, needs to hit, and then he needs uh, needs Stacy to dance because Stacy with that four point board, if he comes in. You know he's gonna he's gonna be gunning for anything he can hit uh, of Victor's. Okay, that's an interesting play. I guess he's just gonna come to into the twenty one. Yeah, now Victor's gonna be gunning, uh, gunning at Stacy's checker and uh, hoping that he can uh, point on that uh, on the four point three point. It is. I'm sorry. And there it is. Now, the tide shifts. Stacy dances. So now, Victor, he's going to think about this one. He's got it there. And he's not going to think about it long. He had already determined what he was going to do if uh, 
So two away, five away. If he drops this, then we're at the two away, four away position. This is tempting for Stacy maybe to take because one, it lets him play for the match, but he drops it. It lets him would have let him play for the match, and it also there's not that much difference between Victor being well, there's some difference three away and four away. It's two games either way. So uh, two away, four away, the infamous position. You might go tar look in your brackets and see. Sean plays the winner of this, which will be one of our stream matches. You might go see see what another stream match possibility might be. Mm, what is it updated? Yeah, probably. All the way to the right. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll be looking at the brackets mm -hmm. here while I'm looking over you guys. Okay. It just got updated, so we got John uh, and the winner of this is a very good match. Uh, what else we got down the? Yeah, the other one's not obvious yet. Um, Ed won his match. Ed won. Uh, where was Ed? There he is. So mm -hmm. that's. Who would he be playing? Kevin Jones or Bobby Silvers. What do we have up here? DD. I'm not sure of these. Snyder against Feldman or Carroll might be okay. okay well, we'll or if Julius see. wins this, whoever wins Jeb and Fogerland against Julius might yeah, be okay. Yeah, that's a great one. So uh, we'll, we'll follow that. Okay, so just trying to... Another of our duties is to... Uh, you know, scour the brackets and uh, the timing of matches to try to uh, get another match onto the stream in a timely fashion as the streaming tables uh, free up. Rory commented on our dice and I told him that that was a secret. He said Roy, Roy was going to have to inspect those dice. I said, that's quite all right. Tar and I have inspected the dice. Jeff has inspected the dice. No further inspection is needed. So, uh, <laughs> Roy, <laughs> they're magic dice. Have you noticed, Sean, you've been watching some no dice play? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so, you, so Petco did win that match. So uh, now, so see, step down there, see where Ray and uh, Horton's match is. Okay, so. Okay. Petco won. Petco will play Sean. Or, uh, I'm, no, Petco doesn't play Sean. Petco or Sean plays the winner of this match. Okay. Why don't you see? Can you, would you mind see? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so where are we? I'm sorry, I've been distracted trying to line up our next matches and uh, following things. Double three is a nice shake. Take that, and this, he goes on to the bar. Could have made the two, but he would have had to bury a checker, an additional checker. So that's probably the correct play. Oh, that's an awkward 6-1 for Victor. Has to leave the blunt. Of course, he's got a good enough board. Stacy's not going to be real excited about hitting that checker unless he could uh, also cover the two. Okay, so here, this, make you clear the nine, <coughs> making the two, but also uh, stacking on the six. So he... Uh, he might choose not to do that. 
Took me a while. He does choose because he didn't really have a reasonable alternative. So Victor escaped being hit over there. Now he can make. Now he's got a five-point board. Stacy. Uh, okay, so he's leaving an indirect. Go to the two. So uh, Victor needs a nine. Any nine except threes. Doesn't get it. Okay, so he build, puts the builder on the five. Now, Stacy hoping to clear that checker. He does. Six, four. Now, he could play to the two, but it leaves him odd on the back, so vulnerable to the big double. So he plays, uh, plays it the other way. Victor plays that. So now, Stacy. 6-3 is bad. 5-3 is bad. Okay. So what's uh what Stacy do? You can't put it in play. 6-2. Six five, so Victor has to run. Now, I don't think Stacy can uh, two way four way. I, I I don't think. I don't think. Okay, Dennis, Sean, Petco, can he send this? I, I, I don't send it personally. Maybe. Okay, now, now, does he, if Victor doesn't come in, does he send it? 3-2. 5 one. that's a great shake. Now he just plays for the unlikely natural G, I guess. Five four. Now, now he sends it. Victor has to let it go. So we're at uh, ten seven. Is Tara in there? Be sure to not let them forget to change the score. I'm sure Stacy won't forget to change the score. Um, I'm going to step over here real quickly and uh, see how another match is, or two are going so we can uh, determine who's going to that other stream. My glasses. There's my glasses. Win or lose.
Otto? <laughs> Next game. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Volunteer is a uh, Ken, volunteer. Is your son one big brother? No, no Phil no. Terry. Ian Terry. Oh. Ian Terry, one big brother. You know, you, you get oh, to see. Did. Ian, yeah, you can just see how you got everybody's got to like you. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the secret. <laughs> no, another one. Yeah, there oh, you okay. go. All right. Let's see. Stacy is red. red. Okay, so I've been lining up another match. Get this like, Nishi Poo. Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got 10-7 uh, here, Crawford. And we've got starting on uh, stream two here in a moment. They're entering the room now. will be Joe Urso and uh, Karen Davis. So... Uh, be a good match on uh, on stream and two, and that again is on uh, youtube.com forward slash AP Live. Yeah, this looks like the right play, Stacy. Okay, Mr. Ed has joined us here. Make sure they kind of okay. lean into it a little bit so they can hear you. One two punch. Mm. Two up. Yeah, and then make uh, slot up. the bar. Yeah, with two up. Yeah, it's just an extra builder. Yeah. Two up. He's got that ace two's back game, but the timing is so great for that. Mm, yeah. Nice shake there. Yeah, Very a, nice that shake. That might be the death of the East Coast back end. <laughs> so, uh, I, I guess I'd make the part. I think I'd make the part. Yeah, although this well, keeps you from getting jammed uh, at that score, baby. Oh. I, 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 I was thinking make the part. That's Did worked out pretty hit well. Down? Yeah. yeah, that's all he's got, pretty much. He's, he, if he gets hit, maybe he gets the time. And 2-4. Uh, wow. It's a part of a prime. Oh, he's at the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, great shot for Victor. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom. Your five point would have been a lot of uh, would have prevented Victor capitalizing on the double three. Double one. Okay, so Stacy needs a something big, one Nice's number. Big. That might be small enough to, switch to work switch. with the switch. Switch. And he's not giving him the six, so he's bringing the one in. Yeah. Six. 
That's why he didn't give him the six. Yeah. Five, two, hit and jump. Yeah, he's got to got to get one of those checkers. Got to get one. Just jump. You got to get one of them out. I think. Aces. Yeah, just, just give him the long distance and keep all the builders. Mm, yeah. Please me. Ah. Uh, switch. I think the sort of. Okay. Five, two. I get them up. I take yeah. the second. Got him. <laughs> a lot of players. Got him. Got him. Got all this stuff. Got a three six. That's true. Let's see, hit double hits. Okay, Victor's got to perform here. He's he's tenuously surviving at the moment. Okay, Stacy's Stacy's attacking again. Six five. That's perfect. I'm cover uh, and maybe you make it with the six cover and, jump and run. The five. Don't jump. give him any fly shots. Yeah, jump from the bar. Correct. I jump with the five. Five two. And all he all he's got now is uh, fours hit it. You don't want Victor to make a five prime over there. Threes. Yeah. yeah. When he wished that didn't I mean the dice or check his counter. <laughs> That's yeah. uh don't want to make the ice point here. No, Maybe he's just, I don't think he wants to make the ace. That he, well, let's think. He's giving him. Ah. Maybe it is. Just. Hmm. Don't want to give him that shot, but. Well, he's, he's only got. He, what? He usually. It's only. Maybe it's it's not that bad to make that point and go. Go to the three? Yeah. Yeah, it's. I don't, you don't really want to live a shot. That's a good board. So. Versus, I think I would do that. But, oh yeah, that's another play. Yeah, that's there you maybe go. the better, better play. play I maybe. I saw everything in the room. Now. I've won. Victor wanted what a first to jump. Okay. And maybe you can get the three four back game. Mm -hmm. It's hit or. Oh okay. Mm. Stops. Yeah, well, he, does he hit twice? Mm, make, make the ace point. He see. could make the ace point. But see, that's 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 the, that's the five for sure. So yeah, now it's just a question the of the point, six. He's giving him. Ah, oh, that's a true. that's a great, great role for Victor. Kind of dusty road. This is going to be has, has a chance to prolong this match. Especially, boy. And only if you help. Victor might be the favorite. Oh, Nobody's helping. Who's uh, kicking the table? Except you want to play. Oh, okay. This is 6 4. Right? Well, does he bring the four in and make the ace point? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the glare on the dice are really <laughs> bad, Ray. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't, yeah. It's yeah. just like gives him twos and threes. Did you get him? He didn't get him. Okay. Yeah, he just so uh, Carol, Carol Cole beat Joe Feldman. So Joe Feldman. Uh, Michigan. Is Michigan. not going to repeat Maybe now. Victor's got to roll a two or a three right and he's here. Back in it. 
And then he's a favorite probably in this game if he rolls a two or a three and he and gets he, he gets both. Okay, so now. He needs to. Yeah, that's what I would do. There you go. Let's roll the outside. Uh, oh, this is. Well, Stacy has plenty of spares there, but. Uh, uh, six, four. So he goes to the six. Huh? Oh, he's gonna. Yeah, he can do that. So now yeah. he's giving troll threes. Yeah, that's bad. Okay. There might be a gammon chance to clear to make a five. Mm. <laughs> Pretty rare gammon chance for Victor, though, huh? With only he one. Don't worry about the double six o'clock. He just wants to. In case he jumps. There it is. Six five. Boom. It hits. Yeah, that's fair. You might just check check or shake check this. Check this. Well, and Stacy's, it. Stacy's crunch totally, so Victor can play super aggressive bearing yeah. off to, and maybe try to steal it. Unlikely, G. Right. Boom. Okay, so we're right. going to be looking. Try right. to maybe get him to spot inside. Slot the ace and get hit right away. Yeah, he wants to slot the ace as soon as. Yeah, that's good because he, he slots with a six and elevens and tens. One, two. Is he duplicating his sixes? Oh, I think I might have run 12. I would have run 12, 10. The six interference. That I okay, from there's the... Uh, Danny Kleiman. There's the slot. He wants him to hit him. But he needs a gammon. Ah. That's one, two. Shitty position. Okay, but Victor's beat the... So he can... Yeah, that's a good one. Maybe he's got, I don't know, 5% here? Gammon? No way. Oh, it's 3% against a close play. Very good. He had it's six is off. What's that? 3 2. So Victor's not even going to try to get tricky or fancy. He's just going to. Just Be grateful for in. grateful for the win. He's here. not coming in. Does he take two off? Oh, well. No, I guess no he can't take two off. This must be here, yeah. Place you would not make. Uh, Gammon is big. Damn, loss, loss is bigger. Gammon <laughs> big. <laughs> Yeah, I'm big. I don't think we will. I've got to think about this. Oh, I know. I know. He, he wants the gammon, but the first thing he wants is the win. Yeah. Sorry. But you, there's plays that you make because you want a gammon that you would not make. Absolutely. He's going to play to get him to drop. You know. Okay, double hitter. Okay. Do we see it here, Ed? Yes. Well, he's got shots. There's some gun. We're in a match. Yeah, 
When you slot the ice point, you might as well make it. That's it. Uh, and that's a great shot. Great. Yeah. Yeah. He'll keep, he, he can keep that forward anchor all day in this position. Does he go to the bar? Yeah, that's what he does. Mmm, that's hits and down. Hits and down. Victor needs a seven six or double five. Good try. Yeah, he, he, he uh, comes up and uh, prevents him. Uh, there's no spare, extra spare in the eight, so he freezes the eight. And uh, it looks like he's going to jump. He's going to slide. Reese Mack, the blue wristbands. Uh, oh, that's not great. Show that we've been vaccinated. You have to be vaccinated to play. So, well, maybe or, six to attend. Uh, and uh, so that's why everybody's wearing blue wristbands. Hmm. Yes. Okay, a lot of good numbers. But he can point too. I guess I would hit. I hit. I think. Victor, uh, I don't, I don't see, don't see everything quick. I, I admit that. Is it better? Oh yeah, that's it. Okay. Victor playing for his life here. No, and he's performing. No, no margin for error. Doing good. Two in it. Is it block? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, if Stacy abandons of, any of there's those. There's a lot of dification of the long shots. Right. They're two together and two together there. Hmm. He makes it. About four. Left. What is that? Three. Three fifty. Stacy is eleven. Victor usually takes a lot of shots. He's uh. Okay, so Victor's got six four. Slot behind him. Oh, he's going to go around. Oh, ah, yeah. 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 All right. That's a lot of numbers. Yeah, does it hit though? Uh, it does hit. It hits. Uh, yeah, it hits and makes. Yeah, that was a, just I'm surprised a little bit by that. that yeah, was a, I, that was a ton of numbers. Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh boy, long distance. All those tons of numbers are coming back to haunt him there. Breeze. That ought to work. Two. Two. Yep. Yeah. This was a Gavin. He can perform. If Stacy doesn't perform, Stacy's he's gonna hit. Looks like he should hit. But you don't want him to bomb you. Both good players, but I'm, I'm kind of have the impression Sean might have a rooting interest back over here. Who does he? He wants to play. I know he wants to play. Uh, he wants revenge. 
Victor told me it's one of the toughest matches he ever played with John last night. They, he was dead and he came back again. Okay. That looks good for Stacy. It looks a lot right. better for Stacy. Uh, where is it? Is there any builders? You can't save against the double four. Well, maybe things are not shot out. If he throws double four. Yeah, it's just a Magic chip. Aces. Chip? <laughs> Go to the five, maybe? No, he's thinking about taking away the double four. All he has to do is win, so yeah. no no need to get no backgammons. No in. no gammons gammons for Stacy, gammons, backgammons, nothing matters. Just the win, so nothing matters. I don't know. I, I, he, he he wanted to safety against that double four but wasn't willing to make the play that would enable him to do it. Ah, both. So? I really have to think a lot about these leaving shots and all a lot. I, I, I could miss it. So that's too so near. I'm not so he's those still right vulnerable away. to the double four. I don't get those things right away. Oh, cut. Double four? Screw it away. Yeah. Three one. So this is uh, a lot of builders. Rosie O'Donnell is clearing her throat out on the wings of the stage here. Uh, <clears throat> what? <laughs> Five one. I have to think he doesn't want to give him the double fours. He picks and passes. Still giving him the double I four. I think about those plays a lot. He's still giving him the double. Yeah, well, he's yeah, giving him the giving double four for. Like six rolls in a row. I'll see those right away. Ah, okay. Yes. Now, cancel the double four order. Oh, yeah. He deserves it. <laughs> uh, can you whip me up a set of twos, Victor says. Uh, do you maybe switch? You s yeah, you make the two point might be the play. I think the two point might be the play there. Not do anything else. You just, just get him off the deuce point from coming in. Yeah, that was a good suggestion. But okay, here we go. Sean Garber plays the winner, and we're just gonna keep that on one. He needs double twos. So Sean, you won. Actually, he threw the exact opposite. Wrong side of the dice. Uh, that ain't so good. Well, just take you take three to the ace. That, no, I'd have to think about that play. I'm not sure. I can't see that quickly. You have to think about every play, man. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm the slowest player. Five one. Go ahead. Do you lift? Clear the six. Huh? Yeah. Clear the six. All he's got to do is win. All he has to. All he has to do is just win. It's a one two. Just one okay, two. and he has the spare three, so the five three six three doesn't hurt him. Yep, pick and pass. Doesn't want him to get the edge. Stacey, like three that. one. Look. Oh, that was three one. Victor Stacy take one of that three one action. Look at this. Back on the ace. Back on the ace. <laughs> Okay. You can never have too many people in the edge. Player. Victor is uh, hanging by his fingernails on the edge of the cliff here. He still would like to throw a two, I think. No, he's going to cut check her off. So the twos are bad, right? Oh, not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> All right. Stacy gets his wish. No ones. You did want to play Victor. Oh, he rolled the ones. Now Victor will roll the fours now. Watch this. 
Well, big this numbers. A, big numbers. Ah, it is. Oh, boy. oh my God. Oh, boy. How did Victor misplayed ah, that while ago? Oh, well, he played two in when he I rolled the six one. I don't know what he did. I anyway, Sean and uh, Sean and Victor. Sean and Stacy. Oh, Sean. Okay, so right. Stacy wins. So Sean Garber is going to uh, move to the stream one table. And we won't miss a beat. We'll just keep right on rolling. Now on stream two. What's going on over here? Stream two. Joe Urso is leading Karen Davis 2-1. So uh, a couple of good matches. Well, one good match is finished, one going, and another one fixing to start. So um, off to a, a rousing start here this morning. We had uh, Petko Kostadinov beat Roberto. We uh, we had uh, who Stacy beat Victor. Now we got Joe Urso playing Karen Davis on stream two and on stream one. We're gonna have uh, Sean Garber play Stacy Turner. Stacy can just uh, stay in the same chair. So uh, good things happening here. Let's check. They're updating the bracket pretty continuously, and I and I uh, happen to have it here. What do we have? Grant Snyder beat Arena, so Grant is playing Carol Cole. Didi is playing Rollo Mickle. I think uh, uh, Julius High beat Jeff Spencer, apparently, so Julius will be playing Jeb, and Petco's waiting on the winner of that. Sean will be playing Stacy. We have Don Merrick playing Ben Friesen. Kate Elmore playing GL Harvey. Clement McNally playing Gershon Distenfeld. Ed O'Loughlin waiting the winner of the Bobby Silvers Kevin Jones match. And we have, uh, as I'd mentioned before, Joe Urso had beaten Bill Lonergan and Karen Davis beat Richard Stubbe. So Joe and Karen are playing on stream two right now. So uh, you're up to date. And uh, momentarily, I guess Stacy justifiably probably wanted to take a few minutes and uh, they'll get started. Sean went in the room and is getting set up. So that match will begin any time. So, <laughs> so did you uh, lack of sleep caught up with you? Or? It did. <laughs> Phone being on silent didn't help either. Yeah, well, well yeah. Well, I at least got to play the main event. You know, I didn't have to forfeit. The opponent wanted to play. Yeah, and Don it, Merrick. It, it, yeah. Very it, sporting. Of yeah, him. very sporting. I thought it was the concept. I didn't even know. And then it was uh, sporting of you to, to, to lose. lose. <laughs> yeah, very quickly, too, I might add. I think in like four games. <laughs> yeah, four or five games. So, uh, so now you're into the constellation, huh? Yes, correct. Who Where you, I should be. Who do, you, who do you play? I don't know yet. Let me take a Let's look. see. Ian Terry's waiting on. Dennis and Roberto. Oh. Wait, no, well, that's, that's up right. there. You're writing on M21, M211. Where I'm not familiar with their brackets. Oh. Oh, is it the Stacy Victor match? Which Victor lost? Oh, oh. great! Oh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. Actually, that's that's actually good. You know, I want to play. Uh, I've been wanting to beat Victor for a while. So well, got a nice chance. <laughs> there you go. That's huh? a good one. It's a shame he lost. We'd probably be on stream if uh, if we had advanced there. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, yeah, because I I imagine we would play. Typically, that's how that works. Well, yeah, no, typically, but it wouldn't have been the case because oh, Sean was playing the winner of oh, that okay. match. Got it. It might have. Yeah, they might zigzag it or something. Oh. 
Okay. So Stacy's just going into the room. I didn't know why I so we. Uh, what did you get your wish that you're playing? We'll be uh, starting <laughs> momentarily. Don't don't even care. Again, John Garber, Indianapolis, Indiana. Good night, Sean. Stacy Turner, Tampa, Florida. Both good players. Um. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with this. Okay. Here we are, and they are in the round of 16, oh. and we're off and running. 6-3 by Stacy. Stacy likes this chair. It was just good to him a moment ago. And uh, ooh, nice set of sixes for Sean. Everybody knows how to play that role. Okay, Stacy's probably going to slot to five, right? Couldn't safety that black by moving it up. So, uh, yeah, I think Dan's keeping them updated generally. Yeah, he... Okay, so uh, Sean's never been shy with the uh, with the cube. <laughs> so <laughs> Stacy will take that, and and that was, you know, it's not to say it wasn't a good cube. He had a chance to make the bar. He did already escaped the two back checkers, so uh, double take it was, or certainly uh, I think it was probably a double take according to XG, and it was a double take uh, in the one game rollout anyway. here too, so. Do you beat Ray, who are you playing? Now you play Julius High, Jeb Horton plays Julius High. Both uh, winners, but they were in the anti-buy round, so they're Went from the round of 64 to the round of 32. Okay. Let me go back to my chat line over here so I can see what's going on. Any guesses on Vic and Stacy PRs? I'd like to know that. Uh, uh, Dimitri, what do we have? What did we have? Come on. I'm trying to get my iPad... Uh, not now. Have to get. There we go. Get back up here. No, that's not what I want. I want to refresh this. I. Okay, so that's that. So we're uh, playing. Yeah, we're playing. Okay. Uh, nobody wants to guess. I don't know, uh, Dimitri. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'll I'll get in on the game. I'm gonna go. Um, I don't think Victor was at his best. I'm going to say uh, three and a half for Victor, four and a half for Stacy. <clears throat> okay, and then let me see what's going on over here. It's 2 1 uh, Joe Urso over Karen Davis on stream two. Here. Kind of a little bit of a standoff here. Mutual standoff. Who blinks first? Plus, Stacy's got the. Now he could come run to the to the mid, but then he's just under brutal attack with two blots. So he's he's going to have to play uh, as much as he doesn't want to. He's going to dupe the sixes playing to the eight point here. 
Oh, that, I'm sorry, it's Sean, uh, Stacy's play. I was thinking it was Sean's. Okay. Okay, so those are, uh, are those the PRs, Dimitri? I was, I was pretty close on Stacy. I said four and a half, he played four and a quarter, but Victor's not going to be very happy with that. Four, six, eight. But I, I, I must say, I, I didn't think, uh, and I'd be ecstatic with a four six eight personally, but I don't think uh, Victor just didn't seem to be on his game for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, it was Stacy played four two five. Victor played four six eight. So uh, yeah, it was a good competitive match. Victor will not be happy with the four six eight, but uh, most of us would be overjoyed. So. Uh, Sean has, has closed uh, a checker out of Stacy's, and che Stacy has three on the midpoint. So this is a a likely a likely gammon here. Uh, huh? Ian is playing Victor. Yeah. Yeah, they just started. Okay. Okay, so he's got uh, Stacy needs, needs needs to get in to try to save a G here. Six two. No sense being ridiculously aggressive, so he uh, plays 4 2. 6 4, so uh, Stacy needed that. 3, 7, 8, 9. It's uh, real close. He should beat the G, but it's very close. 3 1 doesn't help him too much. Two crossovers. And these three ones are not doing Stacy any favors. Four, five. So Sean's got six crossovers. He has five, but they're long ones. Okay. That's where the dice gods either shine on you or cause the rain to fall on you. Okay. Well, that's that's not the greatest. It's a lot of numbers, but he can't get the crossovers. Hey, Sean does not want to see an ace. He doesn't. Stacy needs a set. Just to be careful, he doesn't get the set. Saves against the double four. John rolls the ace. Oh, so there's Marianne Meese. She, sorry, I didn't see your message earlier, but she has tracked us down and joined the viewing audience. So, uh, Stacy, uh, fortunate to uh, dodge the gammon on that. John rolled an ace on his last roll. Uh, to deny himself the gammon, so it's two zero. Of course, no bear thanks for the DM when they take a kid. <laughs> 2 0 Sean. <laughs> now, there it is. I mean, I, I suspect uh, Marianne yeah, has joined us, and she's match. probably rooting for her fellow Indianapolis game. resident, Sean Garber. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the Sean uh, fan club is uh, is forming. You're you waiting on a long match, aren't you? Jeez. Oh, there they are. <laughs> okay, so uh, Stacy uh, 
looking for some of that good magic he had against uh, had against Victor. Both these guys uh, beat superb opponents in the first round. I think Sean beat Dennis Culpepper, and Stacy beat Victor Askenazi. So uh, both coming off highs, and one of them will. Uh, Defeat two great opponents in a row. Stacy's got, uh, you know, a nice four prime, which Sean just jumped. Sean would love to hit it, but he gives up his mid to hit it, but he'll do so. 6-3. I guess just run to the 14, I guess. He could or run to the, he could run to the 11. No, he couldn't. It doesn't reach. So he runs to the uh, to the 14, I guess. Yeah, he can do that. That's probably better. Dupes threes, but it also makes you vulnerable. There's a 6-2, which he could come out and uh, he can hit or he could come out and make the point. Chooses to, to make the point. 3 1. Makes it where uh, John has to, to hit him, break the point. Why we love the game. Yeah. Lady walks by and says, Crazy roll of the dice. Well, that's the nature of backgammon. What's the score there? Joe was looked like he was fixing a G or while ago. Okay, so Joe Urso's up four zero over Karen Davis on stream two. Okay, so uh, Sean's trying to decide what he wants to do. He said he wants to hit. Gives him two blots. But uh, Stacy does not does not hit him. So now Stacy's faced with uh, a decision and decides to play eight two. Keeps his midpoint. Oh, uh -oh. that'll play. Well, but he needs to play three sixes or five sixes. Nah, he can play four. Move him in now. Those uh, play to the four. Could do that, put them, put them up, but that disconnects the. I would have liked to maintain the connectivity of the checkers by playing the other way. Okay, so Sean, who is uh, known to have a itchy trigger finger on occasion, what's the count? He's 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 well ahead. Because he doesn't have any back. He he might well choose to put a little pressure on Stacy here. I think Stacy'd uh, probably take it, but uh Sean is a fairly aggressive player. Certainly uh contemplating it. There it comes. Stacy takes it as predicted, and here we go. And this is a very volatile position. Boom. Now he can make the ace point, which he might do. Unstack the unstack the six. Okay, so he's going for the gusto here. 
dance, so uh, this could leave a scar. Okay, Sean leaves to the six. Stacy dances again. Well, uh, he's probably gonna probably gonna hit the second checker. What do you think? He could play to this to the five. I suspect he hits the second checker, but we shall see. There it is. That's Sean's style, and it's probably very likely the right play anyway. Stacy enters one, but not the one he would have preferred. Okay, now, okay, he's gonna make that come to the, well, yeah, it's the duped double four, so he comes down with that. There's the four, so Stacy maybe uh, saves the G a second game. I four put it on the three. Got more builders for the four. Likely not gonna come into play, but uh, well, three two is uh, leaves a little vulnerability on Sean's side. Okay. We all know a couple of numbers he doesn't want to see, about three numbers he doesn't want to see. And uh, sees them he doesn't. So now Stacy's just got to be concerned about not getting G'd, so he leaves with one of them. He might have waited a roll to leave with one of them, but uh, chooses to go ahead. that now fours fives and sixes leave a shot what did I say okay now probably uh, gives him the extra numbers and takes one off I don't know what's he got off five ten so he's only gonna have six off no Okay, so now he's just got to run, so he beats the G for a second game. Not, not, there's a rare G in there, but not any longer. Well, still two sets and a two-one in between. Okay, so... Uh, Two games in a row. Four zero. Sean narrowly misses Gammons. So it's four zero. What are we doing over here? Four one, Mr. Urso. But he's uh, kind of he's bearing off with an advantage, and there appears to be a Cuban play. But I'm looking at it on a phone, so I can't. Tell the magnitude of the cube. Okay, so he, he wins the game. Now the question is, how many points was that? Okay, so uh, Sean and... Uh, okay, so he won two. It's 6-1 Joe Urso over Karen Davis on stream two. Six, so you can hit. Takes it forward anchor. I 
nice set of fours. Makes a couple points. Well, he's going to play it down the other way. Brings the ammunition down to try to uh, do something. Sean uh, or Stacy clears one of those back checkers. Six five. That points. So now ten in the zone. Stacy dances. I don't think Sean's quite there yet. Not with the lead and. Uh, Still some guys hanging around back here. Okay. Dancing again. Sean's still not quite there. I don't think Steve's rolling fours. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tough life when you keep rolling sets of playable fours. Okay, Stacy rolls one five, so he has little choice but to play it as he did. So now. Sean probably doesn't have a uh, draw. Sends it and cashes. Stacy gives it up. So, five zero, Sean. Stacy's wondering what's going on here. He has all the good fortune in the world and plays well against uh, Victor and wins, and now John's getting everything in the next match. He runs on. Oh, little choice. Yes, he just brings it to the nine, lets everybody in the world shoot at it, but it's only one blot. Okay, I am monitoring the chat line, so uh, questions, comments, suggestions, critiques. Anything's welcome. We try to run an interactive stream here. So uh, say hello and uh, start a conversation if you wish. There's uh, plenty of you out there watching. Well, that's kind of common with all of us as we age, Reese. I can, uh, I can identify with that. 
He said that Stacy's position is as flexible as I am after a day of mulching the flyer beds. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and, it, and it's funny in a sense, or in, I don't know, um, ironic. I don't know what word we want to use, but you know, in, in the prior match, just Stacy was getting. You know, great dice and everything just played like a choreography in a Broadway musical. Just nice flow and everything worked just right. And, and this this match, you know, it's like he's building a picket fence every every game. So obviously, from his match with Victor, we know he knows better. But the dice oftentimes dictate what, uh, how, and what we play. You're not sharing? <laughs> and Gary Olson hit the like button. I like those kinds of ideas. I guess it matters whether you oversleep or not in the morning. Stuby was here, come in late and was here on time and gets beat. And Ian oversleeps by an hour and comes in and gets beat. So I don't guess it, uh, <laughs> it matters. <laughs> uh, how'd you do in your second match? You lost it. With Karen? Okay. Okay. said uh, Stacy is uh, just about as inflexible as, as one can be, although that's a nice five six from the bar to, to hit two. There's Mick Zakrashek. Indianapolis fan club is out in force. Marianne Meese Standing up front with the pom poms. Now, Mick Zakrashek falling into the ranks. I, I have a son and daughter in law in Indianapolis. They're building a big new house in Indianapolis right now, up in the Carmel area. Okay, Stacy's trying to unstack those checkers and make something happen. Oh, got double three. That'll that'll stop some of that momentum. Boom. Uh, from two in the air to two in the air the other way. Okay, let's see if Stacy is as fortunate to roll an entering joker as Sean was. Well, they both come in, not quite the roll that Sean had, but uh, can't cover them both. Now, he could make the four point or he could make the five point. Yeah, there you go. Sean and Tara play each other a lot. And... <laughs> if 
Seems like uh, Sean plays a lot in our Ace Point online tournaments, and uh, seems like every week or so, maybe every other week, him and Tara and Sean are playing on Ace Point in a tournament. So. Justin Knoll has joined the crowd. Now, Justin was telling us last night that he's going to be in Chicago. He's going to be playing in the BMAB. And I don't know whether he knows it or not, but uh, Rory was saying a while ago that uh, Justin might join, uh, or was not might, was going to join uh, myself and Nick in some commentary action in Chicago. So uh, that was the, uh, the, the birth of... Uh, Justin Knoll as a commentator occurred in Chicago three or four years ago. And he's a, one of the one of the good ones. Yeah. Well, we can. We've got the uh, equipment. Tara said we'd bring them the big mixer and extra mics. Say, you, bring you, the say, you just can't help yourself. We can have a you? grand old time. Look at this. Do I have a, have to, do I have a three? Yeah, I got a three right here. Eric That's Peterson fine. was there. Eric Peterson is here. Hello, Eric. Good to see you. Hope to see you again uh, soon, perhaps Chicago and in Monte Carlo. We'll be doing the streaming at both of those tournaments. My vote would just be start this game over again. This thing has gotten out of control. Good. Eric will be in Chicago and Monte Carlo. So we'll uh, get to spend a little time with our buddy. There's Zeba, the celebrity, celebrity, celebrity Rottweiler. Zeba. 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 Let's see, see some. Hey. Now, this is the uh, celebrity Rottweiler that we have with us today. Two time best in breed. Two-time best in breed at the Westminster Dog Show. Adel Moore's Zeba, the Rottweiler. So. <laughs> if we, she, that's a celebrity dog. We can get her up here and interview her. <laughs> okay, so where are we? We we have all kinds of distractions in back cabin here. Get the, how many times do you get to interview a Westminster dog kennel best in breed Rottweiler? Okay, so uh, Stacy's Stacy's dice and play and Sean's play has done got Stacy in another awkward position here. Is my televisor? 
Ziba's owner, I think it's Z I B A, Marianne, is Kate Elmore from Atlanta, backgammon player, and uh, has a stable of uh, Rottweilers. And Ziba has won uh, best in breed twice in a row at the Westminster Dog Show, the biggest, uh, I guess, biggest and most famous dog show in the world. Another, I'm sorry, AKC national winner as well. Jeez, this dog's got, this dog has more trophies than Ray Fogerland. Marianne Meach says to tell Kate hello and congratulations. <laughs> Justin wants to see the dog. Karen, or Karen, Tara, can you swing the camera over and let him see the dog? Hey, Kate, Kate, bring Ziva out in front of you here a second. They want the viewers. <laughs> I hear the, okay. the viewers want to see the dog. They get her on camera. Yeah, get her, get me some cookies on top of her crate. Look on top of her crate and bring me some cookies. She's got, she got dog treats. She's got treats. He's got her on camera. He's got her on my phone. Hold, hold her belt. I'll go get her. Hey, Ziva, come here. Mama will be right back. Yeah, Mama will be right back, Steve. Like we say, we are a full service streaming operation. Kate went to get her a treat, so she'll uh, <coughs> she'll uh, pose for us here in a moment. Hey, Ziva. <laughs> Mama's coming. Ma Mama, Mama's coming. <laughs> oh, there you are. That's your, that's your best in breed Rottweiler. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thank you, thank you, Kate. Okay, now you hit the. Uh, Everybody hits the like button for us. We show, we show backgammon and we show show dogs. <laughs> so, uh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> so, uh, Stacy and Stacy and uh, Sean will go back and review their uh, their match on video and say, "Wait, we're we're losing out to a Rottweiler here." Number one Rottweiler. Number one Rottweiler in America. <laughs> Jeff says, "What are y'all doing in my tournament?" Doing tricks. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh lordy lordy okay so uh once again sean's in trouble now sean i mean uh, stacy's in trouble although sean has joined him in the trouble in the penalty box if as it, if we were playing hockey here they're both uh, in a little bit of a bind Binds, binds are, uh, binds are tougher on Stacy at this moment in time because he's down six zero. Okay, I've had enough of this. I'm sending the cube. Sean scoops it up, and uh, here we go. Now, Stacy makes the nine points, so he has a broken six prime. Stacy, uh, that's a hitting five three. I think you got to do it. Sean, I'm sure he's, he sees it. Who lets the dogs out? Gary Olson, says, who lets the dogs out? Okay, Sean does. I didn't. I knew he wouldn't overlook the 
the hitting five three stacy fans as would be expected in this match so far and uh there's a five to make the three point and a three Come around to the 11 so uh Stacy has uh, this match what we call in Texas buzzard luck. He can't kill anything and he can't find anything dead. So uh, it's just not going his way. Go over there by that Rottweiler with that burger, Ben. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, and Ben Friesen walked through here chomping on a six-pack of burgers or something. <laughs> kind of got Zeba's attention. Okay, can Stacy make anything happen here? Okay, he's he's changed the flavor. He's hit two. He's got two in the air. Got one of his back guys moving. So now Sean's in a world of hurt where he uh, had built up a nice 6-0 lead. Okay, he's going to hit a, yet another. He built up a 6-0 lead, and he's going to give a large part of it back here perhaps. Four, two. So now attack mode for Stacy. Six is not totally what he had in mind, but he'll certainly take it. So uh, Sean needs an anchor in the worst way and gets it. Set of fours. Make the four point and give him a shot in another one. By circulation and timing aren't going to hurt you. Okay, he plays them both down. Three, two. Five, four. Well, Sean has the the hotel is open on the other side, just looking for some customers. So, not many things uh, Stacy can do now. Sean just needs to bide his time for another roll or two and see if he can get a shot. He does uh, manage to roll small. Okay. Uh oh. Where there's a gap, there's hope. Five three will work. So looks as though Sean will get moving here. He'll lose a single game for two points and we'll be at six two. How's our other match going, Tara? Glance over there and see what's happening. So uh whoa, what in the hell happened here? What did I do? Okay, Day so two, eight, stream eight. two. Okay, so there it is. Oh, checking the other stream. Joe Urso yeah. leading Karen 9 2. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so we come back over to this side. Sean uh, likely to beat the G. Almost now certain to beat the G. So 6-2 it will be. Okay, so let me look at the look at the bracket here real quick. See what see what's going on that I can inform y'all of. Oh, there Petco and oh, that's the Masters from last night. Yeah, we have a break card here someplace. Championship. Okay, so here we go, and I guess that's refreshed, huh? Maybe I don't know. Stacy's on break at 6-2. Now, reviewing anything that's going on or any recent developments. Okay, GL Harvey beat Kate Elmore, so that's the only person that's won two matches. Okay, so this is a progressive... Uh, Consolation progressive last chance, so this goes right on three through. The brackets uh, are available on the USBGF website. Uh, Tara says if you're watching the streams, you can hit the description on this, which is just below the 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 stream and uh, there's a link to the brackets there so if you want to follow the brackets as well easy to do so now had it been my uh i'm good Already left. Okay. Red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Who picked up Zeba and the Calcutta? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Cold. Maybe it was it was Ray. I don't know. Now, had I been my dog, I could have had my uh, celebrity dachshund in my lap here while we. Uh, but Zeba's a bit large for the uh, for a lap dog. Okay, both in. So, Stacy got on the scoreboard and uh, hopes to continue his progress. Yeah, we we don't have to dig that deep for puns, Reese. You know, says Zeba's game has real teeth. Um, Yeah, that's one opponent you don't want to upset. It's one thing for certain others that have been in our past to come across the table at you. It would be entirely another story for Zeba to come across the table at you. This is not, you know, people keep walking by here with food. It's kind of getting in the lunch hour and all, and... Uh, Bill is uh, getting ideas, you know. I don't know. Mr. Proctor, dinner break is at 530. 530 to 7. Unless they're behind in here, of which they'll be eating Subway again. <laughs> And that's, uh, that ain't right. 
This is your payoff. Yeah, uh-huh. And this adds to 81, 94, 50. Yeah. The hell of a deal. <laughs> no, it, it would be if it were third, fourth. Third, fourth would each get third. Oh, okay. You so need this... to make this like 50, 30, 20, yeah. or 50, okay. 35, 15. Okay. Or like I understand. Right. I understand. It's an arts major. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you pay me the big bucks, you know. <laughs> okay, your full service commentator having to take care of any and everything here. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so Sean lets one go. It's six three. So we're. Uh, this is turning into a match. It was a bit lopsided initially. Stacy's gotten back in the in the flow, and it's six three. So, okay, nice set of aces. So, uh, Stacy uh, trying to keep the momentum going here. Five two. He can make the eight. Point. He can't split, so he's going to come down to the 11. Now, Sean needs to hit this. Or Fritz, Stacy may get frisky here. If you, when you come back to stop the little store thing and get some chips or cookies or snackies of some sort. Okay, so, uh, where are we? Okay, that's a five point. So, uh, both decent positions here. Five two makes a four point. So, Stacy's position's probably a little better, but he's got two checkers back, and Sean only has one back. There's the bar point. So, a broken six prime against a five prime. Stacy can run and does. Five two, so he steps up to enhance his chances of escape. Casey's gonna safety that guy. So Sean's looking for a six. There's the first guy with two wins. G. L. Harvey working walking behind me here. He's a what French Canadian yeah. from Vermont who identifies as a Texan. I mean, what more could we want? <laughs> okay, so Sean still uh, he's contemplating getting uh, getting silly with a cube here. I, I say that facetiously. He rolls a six. He maybe loses his market. He doesn't roll a six. Uh, you know, he's still got problems of his, of his own. So. Uh, I would be personally surprised with the lead if he cubes this, but cubes it, he does. Stacy is going to beaver it. <laughs> he teased He teased the beaver. He turned it to a four. John doesn't get out, but, boy, he makes it's his, it's his best non-escaping number as he makes the six prime. I don't know. Stacy, you need to, yeah, that's what you need to do. Maybe make a six prime of your own. Okay, now there's that six and a hitting six. Man, this is this is brutal. How bad can it be? Oh, and then look here. Now maybe maybe Sean can get. Stacy to enter with a one six or something, and uh, 
kind of get in a bind himself for three. He would have liked to have uh, made a prime, but it didn't work out for him. He still needs Stacy to roll a ace six, deuce six, or something, and. Uh, Maybe get him in a in a bind. He's going to play the three one. Okay, so Stacy needs to, to point on him and then hope Sean enters. He's going to point on him right here. Hope Sean rolls a one six. Three four. He says, Sean, you should enter, please. Here's a one four. He makes his six prime. He could make the anchor over there. Um, okay, John, uh, there's a big one, a one five. Now, Stacy needs to roll small on the next roll, and he wants Sean to roll big on the next roll. So let's see what happens. Five smaller. four. That's not exactly small, but uh, John still has the opportunity to roll big. Uh, I think he misread the cue card here. Okay, he chooses not to hit. He's gonna let uh, let Stacy play. Ooh, pardon me. So this this could bring blood on this uh, this game. Leave a scar, I said earlier. Bring blood, however we want to phrase it. Uh, Stacy's in a bind. Okay, John looking for a six. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know that I would do that. I might just play them all in. As a four-point board either way, this way he gives me the five. Hmm. Other way he'd have played to the bar, so I, I don't know. Sean needs a six in the worst way here. Boom, doesn't get it. It can pass. We're not too. Yeah, he broke the five for some unknown reason, Justin, to me. Um, now, Stacy. Yeah. Stacy uh, got the itchy trigger finger trailing 6 3, holding a two cube. He's going to wait a roll. Boy. Now he just plays on. Yeah, now he's too good. He plays on, and unless uh, Stacy anchors, Stacy does anchor. But you still, you just play on for another couple of rolls here. Sean could end up leaving another blot on his six point over there, or he could have to leave with a six, and uh, and Stacy gets to attack that. I, I might have still just hung. Yeah, that's true. He's blocking sixes there, but there's that blood on the six that we were talking about. Yeah. Now, may as well leave it blocked. No, well, there's two blots over there now, but okay. Come out with a six, and Stacy can go to work. Yeah, I'm, I'm cashing this puppy, so uh, six five. So we we have a game going. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm with you, Justin. I I just uh, I was stunned that he uh, didn't just play the both sets of fours in. And uh, I, I think it was right. You know what? Also, well, who knows? We'll uh, we'll have to ask him. Four. Yeah, but we're marking. Yeah. Well, 
That's true. And and but I, I I had an easier route out than you did. Yeah. So okay. Yeah. I only had one year out. So did I. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Maybe. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Who knows? Well. Let me check what's happening on the other stream. See what's going on. Uh oh, Karen Davis is in a world of hurt here. She's uh, that's it. Game set match. So Juror so uh, beats Karen Davis. So now all our guys go on. Bill needs to find another match to stream here. See what we got. Uh, see what we got. Potential coming up here. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. Okay, uh, Kevin John. See what we got over here. How's the? Uh, where's my? None of my fetchers are around. I was gonna have a look at the status of a couple of matches. What's been Hey, Ben. Ben. Can you do a check on a couple of matches for me? Yeah, well, I'm actually in the middle of mine. We were in oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay, but what, what are you looking for? Well, I've got a table freed up. Jeb and Julia. Jeb and Julia, winner plays Petco. See how close this match is, and maybe Ed and whoever, Ed and... Kevin Jones, oh, yeah. Urso just won. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll so I think Jeb and them are over here, and Ed's in there somewhere. That's pretty much forced. If you don't have any sixes except that one. Oh, sure. Find a legal play. Okay, where are we? Have a balanced holding game here. John has the twenty point and Stacy has the 18 point on the other side. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ben. How about, uh, it's Grant and... Grant and Carol right around here somewhere? Yeah, that's close to getting there. Okay. Okay, so maybe Grant and DD. Now, then the question I think Tara, oh, she went downstairs. Yeah, he'll he'll wander out here. Tell if they break up, tell yeah, Grant to I'll come see me. DD. I apologize, but I uh, have all kinds of duties here. <laughs> Trying to line up our there next is. matches. There's the nine. Oh, <laughs> 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 bracket. Yeah. 
Okay, did you win? Ah, okay. Okay, so where are we? I'm sorry. Six five still. Sean got his uh, his back ones moving, but now we've got kind of the prototypical standoff. Who blinks first? Sean's going to have to move with a six. Stacy. Uh, he has another role perhaps that he can uh, sustain moving. Oh, Stacy, uh, Sean contemplating a cube here. He does. That one surprises me. Stacy's going to snatch that up. Um, Sean rolls a six. He's in. Okay, there it is. So this is exactly the danger that uh, Sean faced. And uh, oh, it went absolute worst case scenario for him, best case scenario for uh, Stacy. But then look at this, five, six. Two, one. So Stacy uh, has to leave it seven away, the indirect. And eight, so Sean, now was that a sequence or what? Six, two, he's in, but Sean has the, the racing advantage at it. So he rolled that two, one. Double threes, okay, so now we're approaching even here. What is that, five? Five one, six five. Okay, we're really close here. Really close. And uh, Stacy's holding the two, the cube. So he's got a gun in his hand if he has the opportunity to pull the trigger. But it's pretty much even. Six five, so Sean's rolled two six fives in a row, which he's got odd in checkers. Stacy, okay, so he's even. So now, now, if Sean doesn't take two off, or it uh, doesn't take four off, I mean, I'm sorry. So here we are. Four roll position. Four roll. Four roll. That's a double take, probably. Redouble take. Stacy decides not to redouble. Now, next roll is definitely redouble pass if Sean doesn't. Okay, now it's redouble. And probably this. Oh, this is tough. Probably a pass, but. Huh? It's tough, but it's. it's I think it's a. No, I, I, is pass Lonergan? Well, Stacy could roll a two or a three on this roll, which then gives him the potential of, of having a miss next roll. Uh, Sean doesn't have any misses. Ideally, um, uh, Sean's a take. I think it's a pass, but, um, we're going to see, let's go back. Where's my, where's my friends here? Okay. Casper. Hi. Okay. That did not look like a cube. Okay. What's this cube? Sean, uh, Tara, look at this, huh? Recube, red recubing. At three roll, yeah, back to back two or three. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a drop. I'd drop it. Maybe I'm wrong. Sean's a Sean's a gambler and a taker though. 
This is a tough call. Who else we got behind us? Any giants of bad going back there? Not here. Okay, he let it go. Okay, I thought uh, I thought it was a pass. Yeah. Olson thought it was a take. Oscar Wilde thought it was a. It's a tough one. Now that was an interesting one, Ed. Look here. It's what me and Joe on the special yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna run normal. No, maybe not start right away. Did you just win? Yeah. Joe and Ed. It's over. Or Joe beat. So Joe. Joe and Karen. Or Joe and Ed. Joe Urso and Ed. Okay. Okay, I'm waiting for some some expert feedback. Justin Knoll, Dimitri, are you still around? Casper, give us uh, input on that one. As soon as y'all want to start, she'll get it set up pretty quickly. He won, yeah. So. Let's do it. Hey, uh, Joe. Let me ask you one. Here's a uh, here's a position. Old guy, it was six five. Sean, right? Stacy's two two one one two two. Sean X X X X X holding a two cube. <laughs> Yeah, is that a recube? And if so, is it a take? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry? Oh, did somebody... Justin, 471 error to pass. Wow. Huge take. I didn't ruin Joe's thought process here. But. Several. Much better than a three roll position. True, because there was the misses. I think it's a double. Yeah. Stacy's on the bus. Stacy's on the bus. We got two possibilities. Uh, D.D. or Grant or Joe and Ed? I've already told them we're going to go with Joe and Ed. So they, okay. I'm sorry. Jeff told me to come out and talk to you. Okay. That's great. Well, we talked about it. It was a coin toss, but ended up Ed and Joe come up a little bit earlier than they did. Joe Urso and Ed. Oh. Okay. Okay, so Yeah, like Casper says, consecutive twos and consecutive threes are losses and uh, other ways to win. So. Yeah, Sean, who was up 6-0 in this match, um, has now given that cube away. It's that big a take. Was it a recube? That's uh Yeah. If it was that huge a take, which I don't doubt it in any mind, was it was it was it a recube?
Okay, so Stacy, uh, Stacy's got Sean in a bind again here. Could easily get gammoned for the match. Let me see. Hey, uh, where'd they go? Excuse me a moment, folks. Okay, I'm sorry, folks. How come I, how come I got this and you got that? What is <laughs> okay, anyway, folks, I apologize. I'm part of my job around here is lining up the, the next match and as this match appeared that it uh, it swung a little bit it, it almost looked for a minute there like uh, Stacy could win on a gammon that is turned but uh, waiting in the wings we have a, a very good match between Grant Snyder and uh, DD so uh, they're gonna wait they're gonna wait a few minutes and uh, to start so we'll uh, Huh? And we have Ed, Ed and uh, Ed O'Laughlin and Joe Urso are now playing on stream two. So round of eight. So that's uh, got some nice matches uh, going on out here now. Okay, now we're playing backgammon. Sean uh, willing to let uh, Stacy take this one for the match if he wants to. And he does. So here we go. Here we go. Three one. Now. Now we're playing backgammon. Dance. Well, it's only for the match for Stacy, but Sean could win a G here. Unlikely, but there uh, there are G's floating around. Yeah. 
Stacy cannot get in. Victor. You lost those. That's the way you smell after I've lost them. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Roland. How are you doing? Good. <laughs> this is live, so be careful in it. All right. Okay, so uh, this is uh, an interesting shake. The dice game. It's a dice game. That's right. Okay, so he rolls the the six five, so he has to has to leave a shot. So, uh, Stacy has been uh, not coming in forever. There it is, and he still doesn't come in. Number? What's the number? Four one. Well, it looks like. Pretty. Doesn't look too hot for Stacy here. No, and he had all kinds of opportunities. Well, There's better. one more shot. One more shot. And he gets it. He danced 10 or 12 rolls in a row. It's a dice game. Comes down to the last one, and he gets it. Oh, looky here. Here we go. Backgammon. We are getting some backgammon games here. Stacy does not get the two. Six two, so he's out and he hits. Now there's a not a lot of gammons, but there are some gammons out there. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Always that rule. So there are more gammons out there. Five one, fix that one up. Mm -mm. Don't even think about it. Oh, I know, but I said, don't even think about it. Otherwise, take it off. He took it off and then paused, put it back. <coughs> Oh, I don't know. Four, five. Oh, five, four? Yeah. Oh, if he hadn't picked it up, we would have. No, he would say. Okay. Oh, save the G. So, uh, it's going to be 10 to 7. Unless the 2 1 2 1 2 1 parlay, never. Sean rolls a set. No. Another 2 1? No. Okay. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, you've got one off. No, I don't. Yet. don't yet, but I will next roll. Yeah. All right, let's play. Sure, you're off the game. Do you, do you and I play? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you go upstairs? I'm on a I'll bring you the other Please. I mean, hey, put it this way. I'll be at the. Uh, okay. So. 10 10 7 uh 10 7 Sean um, that that game what some swings did we have there but that's the kind of guy <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, either one of them had multiple opportunities to, to win that game. And a win for Stacy would have been match. Um, you know, a gammon for Sean would have been match. So here we go. It's the uh, Crawford game. So the cube's frozen for this one game. Now, does he make the bar and make the four? I like the, I like the bar, personally. Oh, I didn't see you had something else there. A miss of the double shot miss. That and that. I three, so Stacy's got a broken six prime. Worst thing that could happen to Sean here would be if uh, Stacy gammed him on this uh, Crawford game at four away. That would be uh, Okay, this has uh, every possibility of a has every uh, likelihood of being a gammon. Which would put Stacy two away. So, um, Okay. Now Sean will try to hit him, maybe get uh, Stacy to uh, to enter him deep down on the ace or something, and maybe roll it ace five or some other things. Roll. Uh, 
you know, just give him the chance to crack if you can. None. Never rolled a ten in his life. Yes, yeah, so a double five would have been cruel right there. Even a six four. <laughs> well, I, would have... I could have, I could have lived with that a little bit, but the double five would have been just yeah. kicking me in the teeth. safe way to play it. Again, we're dancing in that unlikely G's, but some G's realm here. Got to run. Now just no, no deuces or something like that. Three, six. That's cool. So he will likely beat the G here. So we'll go to uh, Crawford three away. Shot. There's a miss. Ooh. That could be an expensive miss. Doesn't get any off <laughs> and just leaves another shot. Three, two. Okay, aces. Here we go. This this is backgammon. <laughs> Five, two. Play to the ace and come out. Nope. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to. That's why I wanted to come out. Nope. Oh, forget that. Okay. Crawford or post Crawford. Three away. Okay, so uh, buckle up your seat belts, folks. Ride's fixing to get bumpy. There's the cube. John takes it. Here we go. Just 
Mm -hmm. Grant Schneider and DD. Okay. Boom. Step up. There you go. Sean uh, doesn't need to dance. Does not need to dance. Correct. Okay. Stacy will attack him. Sean does not need to dance. <laughs> I can do it again. Nancy, uh oh. No, no cover. Yeah. Mm. Got to have that five point to gammon him, though. I don't know that that lift was right. Four one. Got to attack. Hit it. Have to hit it. Have to hit it. Down the checker. One, three. <laughs> okay. Stacy's got a lot of returns. Gets one. No, no. Oh, man. I'd have gone the other way. Have two back. When you. Hit on the two, hit the other one, then you got you're working with you're working with trapping two checkers. You maintain your anchor, but you uh, you enhance your uh, enhance your gammon chances. Yeah, everybody kind of lifting was strange for everybody. That three or four rolls ago when he lifted. I don't know. Yeah, Casper says hit in the outfield. You're right, Bill. So pretty much, and he's a, a very good player. So I, I, th I think he had to do that. Yeah, but not, he's a gamut go, right? Now it's just, it's going t totally against him now. And he's, uh, John's got a lot of work to do, but Stacy's probably lost his gammon opportunities. He may have lost the game, but he had to uh, had to go for it when he had the chance. safe play
four. Hmm. That's my play, I think. Five four goes to the ace. Okay. Now it's just can uh, Sean keep from leaving a shot. Play to the nine, just shift to the nine. It blocks the checker on the twenty two. Grant Snyder. Yeah, Stacy's uh Stacy's rolling too fast. Too big. Or two. Last pick. Well, Rosie just stood up and took the stage. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. And there's a, there's a six five out there. So close. Six four. That's curtains. Congratulations to Sean. Now, for your viewing pleasure, we have um, stream two. Joe Urso and uh, Ed O'Loughlin are playing, and we're fixing to. Uh, Get D.D. and Grant Snyder in a round of eight match. Uh, I think it's round of eight match. Oh, they had buy, they had antibodies, so it's round of 16 match. But an undefeated bracket, uh, D.D. and Grant Snyder. Going on stream one here shortly. This is forsaking the... Uh, Two one double six two one double six two one double six two one double six parlay. This is probably over. Excuse me for a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Congratulations, Sean. Yeah, thank you much, Stacy. Tough, tough match. Well, I don't keep track. I mean, I may have a good... No, you beat me yesterday. Oh, okay.
Okay, backgammon fans, after a short, very short break, we're back at it. Grant Snyder from uh, Virginia, he's a dentist, I believe. DD from Atlanta, I'm not sure of his profession, but uh, very good player. And uh, this is a round of 16, they both uh, were in the anti-buy section of the draw. So, uh, even though this is their third match for each of them, they're only in the round of 16, where, as an example, Joe Urso and uh, Ed O'Loughlin playing on table table two, stream two, are uh, in the round of eight. So, that's the luck of the draw sometimes. Uh, you know, some people get a buy, some people don't. And that's particularly... Uh, you know, in a single elimination as far as the championship goes, that's uh, extremely significant. You know, and uh, you know, as far as winning goes, is uh, you know, once they uh, you know move in the trans uh, consolation, typically they'll transpose the the draw in effect so that those who had buys in the consolation or in the main draw. Don't get to buy it again in the second round or in the consolation round. So anyway, but since it's in effect single el elimination as far as winning the championship, you know, getting a buy is huge. You only have to win uh, five matches where other people would have to win six. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for DD and, and Grant, they were in the uh, anti-buy section. So in order to win the championship, they'd have to win six. We have a match. Oh, Snyder. Oh, just DD started. Again. DD and Grant Snyder just started. How do you determine who goes in there? Well, it's like your highest rank pulls. In a, in a sense, and then it's what matches are available at, kind of at certain yeah. times, you know, and uh, so it just works out that way. I'm thinking, let's see, Grant Snyder, good player, the dentist. He lost in the final of the Cherry Blossom Championship to Ed O'Loughlin a couple, three weeks ago. Dee Dee, as we saw him uh, yesterday, I guess it was, in the uh, in the Masters, first round he beat Victor Askenazi. Dee Dee's been around quite a while. He's not that well-known necessarily. But an extremely accomplished player plays a, a low PR. Um, so this should be a good match. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That'd be a treat. <laughs> I was saying the first person that had won their quarter was did he win his quarterfinal match? You look at my brackets here. We have D.D. and Grant Snyder. Petco's still waiting around for Jeb Horton and Julia Side. Petco was on the, the cusp. Of, he uh, he got a buy, but he had to wait on people that got anti-buys. Um, so then Sean, Sean and Stacy, uh, Sean won that. Yeah, GL was playing Clement McNally. Okay, so he's at the same point as Ed and Joe, unless he's already won. Re reload that. I did, well, oh. Oh, you did? Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, how do I get back to the other stuff? How do I get? Go back to where you were. Oh, that'll do it. Well, one more less. One more. Yeah. Okay. There I am. Okay. So anyway. We were kind of, Tar and I were kind of reviewing the brackets and what. Up here? Yeah. Seeing who's who and where. Okay, so DD, who had doubled uh, Grant mid game, sent him. Congratulations, Sean. You know, it, it, it was interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I was kind of in your boat. And the, the one, the three or four roll position where he yeah. redoubled you? Yeah, that three three roll position, I needed a little bit better. I needed better than 25%. Yeah, it was, yeah. some of them were running. It was a huge take. Was it? Yeah, I mean, like 500 because of, he had the yeah, like one of the twos, one of the three. So if he yeah. any two twos or two threes and a couple okay. other other things, he gets a miss, and so you don't have any misses. So it's like like a point five error. Yeah, point five error. But uh, hey, but uh, that was good. Congratulations. So you're in the quarters. Quarters. Who do you play next? Uh, Don Merritt. Ah, okay. Very good. Keep it up. Okay, so that was uh, Sean Garber who had just stopped by chatting with briefly. He won the uh, match against Stacy Turner. Great match. And uh, so here we go. D's probably going to, he's going to win this, win this game. Not going to get a gammon, so it's going to be 2 0. Huh? Well, now you get to play pick. Yeah. Okay, well, Grant is uh, hanging around, and then look at this, a 3-3, three, three, so he's got that. And takes one off. So now Grant has a shot, but also were Grant to miss or were Grant to, God forbid, dance, um, he hits. So he. Uh, the one, the one that uh, Sean and Stacy. Sean. Zeba on patrol. Kate walking around. She just came out of the playing room. Oh. Um, Asper says DD means younger brother. No idea. But it's actually. I mean, he, he uses his it's two names, more or less, like a first name and a surname, given name and a surname, but I don't know if that uh, is the same as if it were one four-letter word or, or what. I have no idea. Uh, I could ask him. He's a very nice guy, personable, approachable. Um, so we'll check it out. 
Okay. So, D.D. is confronted with a bit of a choice here. Doesn't necessarily want to put a second checker at risk, but he also doesn't want to put the first checker in hitting direction or uh, proximity. So, we shall see. Now he's going to have it in direct proximity. A three shot. Oh, really? <laughs> I guess for a purpose. To answer EP's question, we will stream other events. We streamed some Masters matches yesterday. We streamed some uh, doubles matches yesterday. Um, before the week end is over, we will stream um, finals of the Masters, finals of the doubles, maybe a final of the intermediate, uh, certainly finals of the uh, championship. So it's just to, you know, how the matches fall out, the timing, you know, when some end, when what's available, what have you. Now, Ray was hoping he wouldn't be available to do much commentary, but he, he just... Speaking of available... Just, just sat down. I so. am. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, it was funny. We actually had Zeba on camera earlier, you know, Kate's dog, right? Yeah. And we, uh, this is by popular demand. We had Zeba on camera and we were talking about that. And I was explaining that this celebrity dog here, I said, this Zeba actually has more trophies than Ray Fogerland. And, uh, <laughs> you know, be hard. you've not won, uh, best in show at Westminster dog show twice, you know? No. <laughs> What's going on here? Just like a well, Grant's thinking about recubing it, but uh, you can't, you're a dog. <laughs> Zeba says, I resemble that. He's, he's been into a cube when you miss, but I guess it's okay to think about it. Well, now I'm waiting for my last chance victim to show up. <clears throat> well, you were waiting for your championship flight victim earlier, and then your <laughs> consolation victim, and uh -huh. neither one of them ever showed up. Yeah. I was what you call victimized. <laughs> oh, and that's why he was thinking about redoubling. He was planning on throwing double fives. Ah. Uh. Well, he wasn't confident of rolling double fives. So he wasn't certain of rolling double fives. No, he he lacked the intestinal fortitude to pin the <laughs> cube there, and cost himself two points. Now I have to. I'll sketch out one here in a minute. Oh, here's one earlier. Scribbling down here. Okay. Sean led six five. 
Stacy had a two cube. Stacy had six checkers, two on the ace, deuce, tray, four. And Sean had five checkers. Boom, boom. And uh, what's the what's the uh, cube action? Well, who's on shake? Stacy. This guy's on cube action, or on shake. So is it a recube? And if so, is it a take? I could see Stacy redoubling this. I think I would. I'll be hold on. I know what Sean's going to do. So, but you can lose your market, I guess, right? What are y'all uh, on break? Yeah. Oh, there it is. What's the score? Seven, four, or so. It's on stream two. Seven, four, Joe Urso over Ed O'Laughlin. Uh, they're on a, on a little break right now. There's a very nice uh, set of aces for Dee Dee. I guess I would maybe redouble that. Stacy redoubled it. And Sean took. Sean dropped it. Five five seventy one error. Oh, huh? Are you ready? All right. You got to play, Mister Feldman. Nine point match again. Five. Five. You know we really should be streaming Joe's former. Yeah, but he's playing Ray in the Last Chance. You're gonna stream a five point match. You know what? He uh. Yeah, this is uh, unlike some. I mean, we in San Antonio have typically been the only uh, tournament that's done a uh, progressive main, progressive consolation, progressive last chance. But here, it is also a progressive last chance. Now, there are some pluses and minuses to that sort of thing. One, brackets are a little bit more difficult. Four cube going back the other way. But in San Antonio, it's even more difficult in a sense because we uh, we have rebuys in the in the main round, so you you never know what your numbers are. You can't prepare your brackets in advance, so I have to on Friday night design main bracket. It's relatively straightforward. Main bracket, consolation bracket, last chance bracket, and those are progressive consolation, progressive last chance, and that's fairly difficult to do. Uh, <laughs> Here, since they're not doing rebuys, so you have fixed numbers, uh, those brackets can be designed in advance and, and utilized, so it goes a little bit smoother. Uh, some tournament directors, a lot of tournament directors, prefer to go with a fresh redraw. I'm sorry? I hate it when I deserve to lose. The two plays I look at, I just... Which well, it's admirable <laughs> when you admit, perhaps, that you deserve to lose. Uh, ben Friesen. Hello. Was joining us here, USBGF board member, tournament director of various tournaments, and uh, helping Jeff out here today with brackets and some yeah. other things. So, Making sure we get it all posted. Hello. Uh, welcome. Hello. Join us. To Grant and Dee. Grant and Dee. Oh, I was going the other direction. Yes, I like this play. <laughs> Should have figured that out. So, uh, it's interesting. In the first game, Dee Dee got in an early cube and uh, then got outrolled and, and lost two points. This game, Grant got in the early cube, but uh, uh -huh. Dee Dee has turned it around and got to return the favor and shipping him a Riku, which Grant took. So here we are. Not too gammonish, though. And actually, Grant's got some nice options here. 
Yeah, yeah it, it, there you uh, go. So uh, Dee Dee could get hung up with little Wilbur trailing I guess, there. I guess Dee Dee's got to have a lot stronger position here <clears> just because he's got tons of timing to play the prime versus prime, and yeah. Grant doesn't. Grant's got all three checkers behind the prime. Now you. Uh... Oh hi. <laughs> Now Grant, as I recall, what he was in the final in the cherry blossom. Just yeah, two, yeah. Two or three weeks ago. He, uh, what Ed, I guess, beat him. Yeah. But uh, he he said he's been in a couple finals, and from what I saw, he's been playing solid backgammon. Relatively unknown, but I think only to me, right? He he played more in you know, kind of before my time. Well, and he's, you know, both these guys, and Didi's played. Fair amount, but he's under the radar screen too. Although an yeah. extremely good player, yeah. And, and Grant's a very good player, but uh, you know it's kind of interesting. I mean, these guys are, are not that well known necessarily in the states, and certainly almost unknown internationally. Yeah, where you get you know some of the players like Victor, or Ed, Ray, Petco, Neil. Right, everybody knows. Everybody knows yeah. them, both domestically and internationally. So it's, it's great for these guys to. To get some exposure. What's okay. funny, this is part of you know my why I really like supporting these sm these relatively smaller tournaments because you get players like Didi who lives in live in Atlanta, doesn't travel much, and all of a sudden you get to see him play and realize he's very good. And without us having kind of a broad spectrum of tournaments across the nation, you don't always meet these people. Well, and that's what's good too about some of these. Uh, well, the streaming. The face cams on stream. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we have an opportunity to interview some of these players, is to just, uh, you know, to introduce them. Yeah. Beyond just the play, but to introduce their, their looks, their personality, or yeah. whatever, you know. All of a sudden, and, you see a picture online, you go, "Hey, I know that guy." Yeah, I've, I've seen that guy. You know? So Dee Dee just um, typically spend a lot of time in Japan. Yeah, yeah, they they have two yeah. Shiba Inus. The Japanese dogs, which are some of the most beautiful dogs in the world. I've played doubles against that dog at least a few times. Dee <laughs> <laughs> Dee, uh, I don't know his girlfriend's name, but often they'll play doubles and, and the dog will, will sit and watch. Very well behaved. Amazing. Okay. I mean, I just, I can't imagine training a dog to be that well yeah. behaved. So I don't know if these positions are all that interesting. I mean, uh, prime versus prime, it's it's pretty standard. You want to try to like he he like he considered getting away is is a, a it's a good idea here. Fortunately, he didn't do it because he would have been punished. But uh, Grant just wants to maintain his race equity. He actually can win this race, so he just needs to get checkers to the edge and try to get away. That way, if he rolls the the double six or the double five later. Yeah. He can win the race. Well, he need, really needs an ace because he'd like to run with a spare rather than yeah. giving up the anchor. Right now, he's just burying checkers. Of course, he's making a prime. I mean, or, you know, it's not the end of the world, but certainly he prefers an ace here. Hello, Dan Minardi. I decided to lick my wounds by doing commentary. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if Jeff Proctor saw me out here, he might yell at me. It's always the directors that are, uh, they, they, when they know they're being naughty and they do it anyway. <laughs> Right, Dan? Uh oh, there's Jeff. <laughs> oh, she is. Oh. Really? <laughs> yeah, Tara's laughing. She went to the ladies' room a moment ago, and uh, Kate was in there with Zeba. So, uh, Tara. Oh, this looks just like the position wait. I just butchered. <laughs> wow, I rolled a double six in something like this, and I blitz when I wasn't supposed to. Uh, but I don't know that DD has a choice. If he doesn't blitz, he's got to leave direct shots. Oh, there's this play. Oh, there's wow. This play. Oh, my. Kind this of, is zero shots, kind of but a... actually it plays to the contact. He has to leave. Grant has to leave. Yeah. Checkers. And if he rolls a six, if he rolls a six, leave. he has to leave with the front. Wow. Break, break the anchor. So it's probably, probably a good play. If you make the three and the two, it's one, three, one, four, four, three. And there's it's a, the six. It's nine but shots. four, six. So there you can, yeah, I think I agree with this break. play. Yeah. It was nine shots to make the blitzing play. And he just wins this game so much. Now 
Not bad. But this is the race equity that I was talking about. I mean, this this is not gen for DD, even if he clears. Well, and, so. you know, and with that four-point anchor, you know, DD's not free to just freely bear in and exactly. in willy-nilly fashion. He's got to... He's got to be careful. So mm -hmm. that, and speaking of being careful, <laughs> here we are. This is effectively forced. I'm sorry. Thank you. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I know that. So just when it starts happening, yell at me. Okay. So he rolled a double four. And uh, oh. now, now he just has to decide if he's leaving. I think I would because double one is double is, is rather is brutal, rather brutal. Well, he leads right. it. He leads I mean, it. it's bad anyway because you get hit. Andy makes the prime. It's just this way, he ends up with two checkers up. Well, I don't know. That's interesting. It wasn't just double aces. I mean, from Any, another aces. Yeah, that's true. And then a fan. And of course, fan. this way he gave himself more cover. So if he's planning on keeping him out, I think he overplayed here. I think he should have come out. But if he wanted to roll on, it probably it would have been fine. But I'm not sure. Eight cubes are tough. I mean, it was so, certainly a pass. So the question is, what, was it too good? Hmm. So that's twice now that DD's had his cube uh, <laughs> burn him. Handed, handed back to him uh, at a red hot temperature. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. Jeff was saying, and I uh, knew this was, and it's ideally, it's the way the tournament's designed to happen. But you know, pretty soon, I'm going to have to go back in there and start doing side events as people, yep, are flushing out and people looking are for other things to do. Three and out. Unfortunately, uh, what uh, an eighth of the field is out in three rounds, right? So yeah. that's just how it's designed. Here's a nerdy thing for you. What's the average number of matches that any individual will play in a double elimination tournament? So a two loss and you're done. Double elimination with no no last chance. Just just a two not not like an ABT. No tournament. consolation. Just, yeah. Just a, just a pure like double elimination. What's the average number of matches? Probably four. Mm -hmm. It's it's all it's basically always twice whatever the number of losses is. Yeah. And so. In this case, an average player will play six matches, but that means some have to play three, <laughs> and they're done. You know, you, you've been awful brave today. You've been walking around chomping on burgers or I know, whatever they is all day with Zeba <laughs> trailing right behind you. Uh, you know what? She's so well behaved that I, I don't even worry about it, but uh, Zeba's intimidating. If you don't know her, <laughs> she's, she's a big dog. She's a big dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pace dog? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and she came right up to me. Usually, I'm a big guy, so usually they're dogs are a little bit. bit, yeah, they're a little bit more, um, I wouldn't say aggressive necessarily, but they, not that uh, friendly. It's funny, we had our own camera a while ago. I was talking about her, and Katie had her here, and everybody wanted to see Zeba, so we moved the camera. And I was saying, hey, this this is a, uh, you know, it's a celebrity Rottweiler, right? She won Westminster Dog yeah. twice, best in breed. I said, this dog has more trophies than Ray Pogger. <laughs> well, certainly more than me, but I don't know about Ray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen his trophy shelf? Oh, he's smart. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, what do you do? <laughs> oh, really? He won his uh, third match, huh? He doesn't want to be streamed? Well, if he plays some fish like Sean Garber, maybe you let him off the hook. <laughs> Sean, I, I wanted to play Sean. That's why, but Don just beat me. Don plays the Don Mary. Okay, if, if he's here, he'll play the Ed Urso winner. Oh, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, we have a somebody who we can look to to make that decision. <laughs> but I know what I would decide. All right, I gotta stop being bad. I'll go play my match with Dan. Oh, I know. Well, I thought about it too. 
It's more it's more that I'm going to hold up the bracket potentially. Well, we've got you know, Junior behind us is uh Yeah, he's trying to flex it down. And, uh, well, no, that's not true. I beat Victor. Oh, you beat So you're still alive I'm in the constellation. No, I'm still I'm in the last hint now. I lost the next. Oh, okay. very quickly. So. Oh. Well, I mean, right. if you're only going to win one match yeah, in the entire beat weekend, Victor and then... beating Victor is probably yeah, a... <laughs> yeah, you know, live to tell the tale about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like there's a guy in our duet who uh, who beat Moshi, and all we ever hear about is you know, one time I beat Mochi. It's like oh, okay. <laughs> I, no, I mean, I don't. Like, yeah, and I was my big brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, he's a, he's a good guy. He's a good player too. But it just comes up a lot. <laughs> oh, is this in your online shit? Yeah. Okay, Zoom. Okay. Zoom. I thought it was some Houston guy. No, 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 no. Ho, ho, ho. So, yeah, I guess my new thing is just going to be, yeah, I beat Victor. You hear about that? <laughs> yeah, he's really playing good PR. I, I played, played it. It was, it was kind of not a good match for him. He played 4-6-8 against Stacy. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. Stacy played 4 3, three. I mean, I had, in game one, I was set to just gammon him right off the hot. I make yeah. this goofy one-one play that chip, you know should be inconsequential, and then I or I make this play I immediately roll double ones that crunches, you know, because I played it wrong, you know, and then end up losing. Yeah. So, you know, it's funny how a backgammon you get punished for things like that. You just have to be perfect. Okay. So what's going on in this game? So it looks like uh, Dennis here. Well, Didi's gotten a two cube of his Dennis shoved back up his backside, and he's got a four cube of his <laughs> shoved back up as an eight cube. You know, and he's Jeez had Lewis. to he's had to drop both of them. So um... <clears throat> well, I bet he's going to be pretty uh, heavy handed with the cube here. Well, I think I'm going to have to go in there and check with Jeff and maybe start doing some side pool stuff or side uh, side event stuff. Some you what? Can, side events? Side event mm -hmm. registrations and mm -hmm. so forth. Yeah. So you can uh, come in as much as you want to. Mm -hmm. and if you have to leave or whatever, you can sure leave it open maybe. for somebody else. Maybe. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah okay. So what? How did that how did that happen? Because I thought it was funny. I thought I had forfeited because I was so late, but apparently I, I played that match thinking it was the console, you know? Uh, and I was like, wait, I still have the console? What are you talking about? I just forfeited the main, but no, it was, I didn't. I played, I, I got here late and I still got to play my main match. Yeah, Don so Merrick. Really sporting, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, especially you both got, I mean, had a bond, so. That's what happened, it's yeah. It's not like it was going to necessarily hold up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just a bizarre one. Well, I'm gonna go in here for a while. Ian, Ian will yep, entertain y'all for a while, I'm and others it. may sit down later on. I may but have I, a last chance match here, though. Yeah, side events and so forth. It's starting to starting to people flush out and what have you. Okay, later, folks. Alrighty. Okay, well, I guess I'm by myself here. Um, so, let's see. So, Grant, I guess, has a double two to play. I don't know if he's taken any of it, though. Okay. Yeah, see, this looks pretty reasonable. With the uh, two up there. Five one, I would just link up and then I'd probably just play to the ace, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it was. I thought that was the starting. Yeah, fine, but it wasn't sure. 
I just make the point here. You know, easy. This is a pretty nice shot. A um, couple different ways to play it. I think for me, I'm actually going to... You know, you could play, you could be totally stripped, or you could link these up and play off of the 18, giving yourself some spares. Um, this, I feel like, is... I don't know. I think I would have probably tried to get some spares there and uh, stack on the uh, mid. Or maybe, maybe like a go-between. Uh, no, I, I'd have made made the stack in place. Six two is easy. Six just plays to safety. All right now three two, so should just lose the uh, the midpoint here. Um, he's only exposing himself to an indirect shot on the eight and. Uh, you know, DD has a blotting board, so he can just hit that if, uh, you know, if he does roll the 8, that hits. Okay, 9 is too much, but it escapes, so he's happy. Nice. Easy play for DD there. Recommendably forced. Okay, so DD is trying to just build his board up a little bit. He's not likely to get a shot this turn, so he doesn't, uh, almost certainly not gonna get a shot this turn, so he just leaves the blocks in there. Okay, um, not sure. Okay, clock issue there. All right, they're rolling. Brings it in. So 5-3 here. Again, he's not going to volunteer, so just playing. And in. Make the board for sure. All right, well, you know, there is something to be said for saving a 6, but... Um, I actually kind of like making the board here because it, it's, yeah, there you go. All right, now, who blinks first, right? Oh, well, that's nice. Nice shot there to, to not move, really. 3-1 plays in board. So now, really, uh, any 6 other than 6-6 six, six is going to leave a... Uh, a direct shot. Direct six shot. Five three is just gonna make his make his uh, ace point there. Playing the waiting game. Okay, so yep, here's the shot. Now the big question though is alright, so DD has the right idea here. Uh definitely it's score, right? Um He's got to take. Yep.
scoops it up. Right. And a miss. Ooh, mm. poor Dee Dee. So apparently he's he's been eating his cubes all day, and it looks like he might be snacking again. So he might not. He, oh, yep. He might not sneak by, shot, right? Yeah. Oh. Wait, okay. It's a surprisingly high number that doesn't get by there. Another miss, but you know, again, race is 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 quite nice. So, although this is a pretty nice shot. You kind of kind of blended in there. So, yep, probably, probably two and three off. There you go. So Grant here is uh, playing pretty solidly, rolling pretty solidly, it seems like. Didn't Grant just come in like second place in the cherry blossom or win or something? He was in the finals. He lost to Ed, so he's he's obviously doing really well here. He's in the round of 16 of this. Okay, a little limpage there out of Grant. Not the double he's looking for. <laughs> yeah, if uh, if you could, if you told Dee Dee it's gonna be a double, which one do you want to give him? That's the one you pick. Yeah. No. All right. Dee Dee avoids the schneed. On the board. Let me just uh, go check to see uh, if the last chance is no going to progress.
Are they playing? Um, if not, just let me do it. Yeah, I, I can start. Um, yeah, I can I can start here. I'm not sure how much time I have, but I can start. Are they on? Okay. Hi, I'm, uh, this is Dennis Culpepper here, just filling in for a minute. I think the other commentators are tied up, so we're just uh, pitching in, trying to get some information out. Yes, yes. I've played DD before. I played him this match here. Um, but he's been around a while. He doesn't get out to tournaments very much, but he's uh, very, very strong. <coughs> I'm sorry, I was jacking. Is this Red's 5 1 or White's 5 1? Yeah, DD's 5 1. DD's 5 1. Okay. Um, Seems like you just make the bar over there. You don't want to come out. You're too far down in the race. About 13.7 seems right. Now, maybe make the five might be right because of the block over there. Because the board is broken up. Not sure. But my, I suspect yeah. it may be right. Once again, Red is too far behind to, to jump out. He needs to stay back for a shot. This seems right. The question is which point you make. Generally, you want to make them in order. The advantage of covering the three-point here is you have a double cover for the four-point. If you cover the four, then you only have a single cover. But I think purity is, is better, even though there's fewer covers that like to play as made. Looks like no shots. That's a pretty good roll. Roll in a cover. Did the match still go? Oh, no, it's over. They, uh, you won? Not sure who won. You guys, excuse me while I'm eating a little bit of candy while I'm yakking. A pre dinner okay. break. Oh, that's a great shot. Hits and covers, makes a five prime, even though it leaves a myriad of shots back. It seems to be right. He's got to get at least one checker back. Two, one. I would guess no hit is right, but coming down to 23 and 6-5 versus hitting. That would be my kind of gut instinct. 
at any rate, is, is not to hit. So he's looking at the hits. It's a lot of uh, return shots to put two guys behind a five point. They're pretty devastating, actually. So my guess is since White's races, st he still looks to be uh, a favorite in the race that just playing six to five is right. I like that. It seems right. It's tidying up the position. Well, I guess if you hit, uh, you bring 13-9. It's not clear that we hit, but you definitely want to take the checkers off the prime. Red is not, you know, really doesn't have a big incentive to hit from uh, seven to two. So the blot back there is pretty safe right now. But it just gets more dangerous as red brings more builders um, into work on the prime or the blitz. For the moment, he's pretty safe. Five one. Oh. Don't need any six. Oh, they played it away from. I would have probably done this play here. It's not clear, but uh, your sixes are going to be coming out most of the time, so you don't need a six. You need a five over there, which he has now. I mean, you don't have to come out, depending on what's going on out there. You could could play eight to two or something. I would have I would have played a card from the six. Yeah. Just Didi was thinking about doubling, but uh, I don't think he quite had enough. <laughs> but now that's a big stroke. It's a board and a lot of pips. Mm -hmm. He's pretty far down in the race. Maybe just won't get the win. Get it over with. Mm. Oh, geez, good, great shot. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a hit. It's dangerous. Back to playing with two blots, but it's only fourteen shots. Oh, that was a great stroke. A hit and out. Now. White. White is in real trouble. Don't think it was quite a cube before the 3 6. You got to hit only 14 numbers, and he's got a fan. If he comes back in, he's back playing. Wow, I guess Didi thought he was too good. I didn't think about it. I was still talking about the last play, but um, what does this lead? 2, mm -hmm. 1, 2, 3. 2, 3. This seems all right. He's got a double um, double shot at the blot now. All right, he's done no. What's what's big gammon jeopardy now? He's got an ace left. It could be seven six. Getting another builder inside. I don't think you need the prime over there. You need to be able to attack. Go into the six. Get another builder. If White comes in, you want to be able to attack him here. This yeah. this doesn't give you two two direct numbers. Like this, you can only hit him with fives versus maybe fives and threes.
What's your number? Three four? Three four he had, yeah. Oh, uh, there's the anchor. Okay, double back. Now it should uh it should go double pass, I think. Double. Double pass. Thank you and I play. Um, how, how long is it the, the break? We should utilize time if we have it. How much time do we have? Yeah. I think it's going to break 5.30 to 7. Sorry. Excuse me, folks. I may have to leave in a minute. I'm, we're checking to see if I have a match to play. Maybe someone else can fill in for a while. Why are you going dark? Six twenty-one. Four twenty-one. So if we have a fair amount of time. Yeah, so we have an hour, so we need we should play. Okay, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna leave, folks. Um, not sure where Tara is. Um, doesn't look like we have anybody um, willing to fill in. So I gotta go play a match, and we'll check back later. Okay.
Okay, I was told to sit here, so, uh, gel, <laughs> gel, gel, uh, well, now, yeah, gel has authority. <laughs> I, I guess, I guess. Well, I mean, I did just, uh, beat, uh, Victor Ashkenazi <laughs> in a nine-point match, so. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I can sleep tonight. All right, so let's take a look. This is uh, this is interesting. So it looks like Grant is in some serious, serious shape here. Um, with that four cube hold that he's currently holding, if DD can uh, somehow slink the G here, matches over. Very efficient way to win. And that's one thing that we never talk about is efficiency of the cube. Um, you want to try to go out exactly. You want your score to match that that goal score um, as closely as possible. You don't want to have overage, and this is a, a spot where uh, a gammon on this four cube is going to be really efficient for DD. So he's going to try really hard to get it. I kind of hope he does because I want dinner break to happen. So pretty interesting situation here. I would, uh, man, I think I might rip too. I honestly might. You know, the only upside to, to not doing that is if you do play to the two point, you do keep the five point board for a little longer. Um, but man, the temptation is just real, isn't it? What do you do, Tara? Yeah. Rip too? See, you, you, you think this is more gammonish? More, well, you, you gotta. You could play to the ace, or you could play uh, to the two, which you could keep. Uh, keep more. Okay, rip it is. Yeah, you know he keeps the five point board longer if he if he buries, or just clears. It, it might have been right to clear the six, but I don't know. So now there's not really much gammon threat unless he can roll another big set. Um, yep. Definitely want to hit there. Take the crossover away from him. What are you guys doing for dinner? Here? Ugh. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So, Dee Dee got hit after all that, so that's also unfortunate. Yeah. And, and, and in the meantime here, Grant just needs four points to win the match, so that's obviously just very efficient if you can snag the single game. And... I didn't see it either. I mean, uh, according to Casper Vandertack here, it was a strange moment to give the two cube. You know, what's really interesting is, you know, sometimes, you know, we see where 
you know, you might have a double pass and then you miss the double or whatever, and then you give it the next turn when it's double take. And, you know, it's interesting because I, I think psychologically, right, you Grant almost trick yourself cube? into being consistent. Yeah, Grant took it and he's about to win the match. Or he's in he's in stellar shape anyway. Yeah. What, what I was thought the position I that got redoubled. I heard you talking about it. Well, it wasn't so much the redouble, but his initial double. Uh oh, he came right in. He had a plan. He's got a plan still. And um, I mean, he was staring down the barrel at a G for a little while. Okay. Look at this. Hey, what are the boys and girls doing? Whoa. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> oh, doing good. Is that Jeb? Is Jeb playing the event? Or no? Yeah, he's playing. He's oh, playing okay. Himself. I haven't seen him. Undefeated. He oh. beat me. Well, oh. he's not undefeated anymore. Pecco was up nine to nothing. It's nine to two now. Oh, okay. I hadn't I hadn't okay. seen him all weekend up until today. He's, I, he plays in the back room. I don't blame him. Who's That's the favorite playing. in this game now? It's a good place. Who's the favorite? Come on. Oh, nine, eight, white. Red. Red. Red's oh, red's on roll. Red's on roll. Okay. Yeah, then then red. This could be matches, uh, well, could, could be pretty interesting. Now that's a nice yeah, that's, that's an all star yeah, number. I switched it right there. You know, I've seen people roll doubles in CD's situations have like have this. Yeah. Oh. I want to see more back end. I'd like to see somebody win by like one pip. <laughs> well, that's two pips. That could happen also. He's shaking. A, he's shaking a long time. Why is he shaking a long? Time? He's asking Grant when he wants to die. He's saying, "Which <laughs> double would you like me to roll?" Oh. oh. Good match. And that's the handshake. It's about time for dinner break, I think. Here, if I had, yeah. uh, if I had my wits about me. Philippe so. Salnav would have said, "Can you feel it?" <laughs> and then Dustin. Didn't you do that once? I'm like, hey, no. No. Okay, no. so we'll be back um, for stream two and stream one at 7 p.m. Okay, and we'll see you. you then. Thanks. Bye bye. Uh, thank you, Raymond. I might have, but I didn't need a double to beat him. I thought I beat him. I, I will remember that I was the big dog. Maybe I mean, it was the other way around. Okay. He asked you when, when you wanted to. He said, well, yeah, I guess it must have been. He had, he, he waited four minutes or something. He was going to shake him yeah, up and do right. all that. Kind of right. I remember.
missed that guy. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty yeah. good. Which I can look at stuff. Huh? That's good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.